So, welcome everyone to the f final of the Teep Open Singles. Uh, congratulations to both players, to Kenny and JT, uh, making the state team um, at the end of the of their respective semi-finals. They said that they're happy now because they've made the state team and they don't have to play any more trials. So, but of course, they'll both want the title of. Team Open Singles Champion. So it's been a long, ta long day for these two players. Um, they've started playing at 10 a.m. this morning. So I think this is their fourth, fourth match today. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. Mate. Yep. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. No, I don't need one. Yeah. So JT broke off first. Had a dry break. Can you come to the table on a red but missed? So JJ's been playing very well. So JT's run to the final, a uh, bit long dang 8-2, uh, Sydney Blackmore 8-2, Jeremy Smith 8-4, uh, beat Nicole Welsh 9-5, uh, beat Mungul 10-7, and here we are in the final. Kenny's run to the final. I uh, had a bye in the first round. Beat Joe Johnson, 8-2. Jonathan Wilkins, 8-4. Uh, Colin Gamble, 8-5. Neil Whitbread, 9-5. And obviously in the semi-final, beat Jack Phillips, 10-8. JT. So it's a nice pot there by Kenny. So Kenny's opportunity here to be the first on the board and put the pressure on. 
sorry to join the stream late guys, I just had to duck out and get a drink before the bar closed. So c congratulations to Kenny and JT on making the ACT Open Singles Final. Uh, Kenny's been in the final a couple of times before I think, at least once that I can remember, but it's uh, JT's first time. So great effort by both players. So obviously JT had an opportunity by the looks of things, I missed that, but um, it seems that Kenny's going to get the first frame. Nice black there by Kenny. So Kenny takes a, a one nil lead. I think this will actually be quite a close match. Um, it's hard to predict the winner at, in this one. Um, I think Kenny Kenny's got that little bit more experience than uh, JT, but um, JT's proven proven that he's um, quite good in a, a match match format tournament and I know he'll be really hungry to win this so but uh, under our new format this year I'm not sure if George has mentioned this previously but the um, these two guys now qualify for the ACT Open team to represent us um, at this year's nationals and then we'll have our trials event in in uh, July I believe that they start That's a massive break by Kenny. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to go reds here. He's got a couple options here. I'm not sure if I'd actually go the one he's going. I'd go the one closest to the right hand side to get that out of the way to because the way he's going now, well he's actually gonna have to move this unless he can slide in behind it. We're just about to have uh, Jack Phillips join us in the, the commentary. Fresh off his um, close match with Kenny in the semi-finals. Good Jack, how are you feeling mate? <laughs> I felt horrible about two hours ago myself mate, when you beat me. <laughs> yeah, uh, It's always disappointing when you lose, but um, great effort mate. It's uh, It's been a long day, definitely. Mm. Uh, I think um, he put me on the spot a little bit but I think uh, Kenny's going to get away with this I think this is his experience and I think his match fitness is going to be a little bit better than uh, JT's and I also know JT had a quite a late night last night and he was uh, very dusty when he arrived this morning so I can't see him playing his best pool. Um, you can't play your best pool when you're not feeling the, the greatest. 
but he might surprise us all. Yeah, so that's a good point. So. Yeah, definitely that, that, that first visit or that first opportunity has got a big difference in this game. Um, if you're coming into the, the frame behind all the time, it, it's hard to develop momentum and, and build yourself, with, build confidence. Welcome, Jack, to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just realise, guys, that um, I've been talking to myself for a while, pretending Jack's here, but uh, now he actually uh, is. He just turned on the mic, so... SET special. <laughs> Welcome, Special K, to the, the commentary. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, I really like it. I think it's um, it's good to see something different in Activa. Uh, we've been playing the same format for as long as I've been playing in this association. 100 years. Which is, uh, 99. I think, about yeah, 20... Uh, we're on about 27 years now, I think. Right. Uh, it's a lot of years, uh, man. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> 20 years more experience than me. <laughs> wow. So, um, yeah, I think this we needed... Well, there's a lot of things happening in 8-ball in Australia at the moment, so I think Activa needed to to move to the next level as well, which we're trying to do in technology. And I'm a, I'm a big supporter of it, especially what these guys are doing here with the cameras and stuff. Yeah. What do they call themselves? ACT Q Sports? Is that the one? Sorry? Is it ACT Q Sports? No, ACT 8-ball Live. ACT 8-ball Live, there you go. Yeah, so George, George Nitzis has uh, started this, and yeah, thanks to him to be here be here all day and also to Long Dang who's also been here supporting George all day so great effort to both them guys that's um, a long day sitting here so that's well done it's a good shot there by Jace just, uh, just punch that in down the rail well, not down the rail but long shot yeah he's got himself in the balls now he might have to play one more shot to go up and down to land flush again but if he can pick the gap and land about where the black ball dot is yeah straight up and down then he'll be pretty flush I don't think he can just drop this in and then go the, the right hand right right yellow yep. yeah can there you go? Oh, I couldn't see it from here. I should be able to see them right behind it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's we're hard, here and hard. not there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably right. Yeah, it's hard to see the angle sometimes. Um, George has got another camera set up which sh shows across the table which we can swap to. So that's pretty, pretty straightforward here. Just got to drop both these balls in. So do you think um, with this format, the whole cutthroat setup that it is, no second chance, no double elimination kind of thing, do you think it's going to toughen some guys up and well actually play good hard pool to get to the next level that yeah. they want to get to? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, and that's part of my thought process in changing the uh, to this format to uh, to build Actiba players, um, basically a better match fitness and and uh, we seem to, once we get to that national or that big tournament level, um, we've got a few players that often perform well, but we just need to build a bit more depth um, in Activa and I think this type of format will, uh, will help, will help sure. that. Yeah. be good to um, find a way to get juniors up to this sort of level if we can. Um, the people that I'm pretty sure, like we see in um, Chappelle, Melissa. What's that? The prize uh, money? Left for 11. Prize money? Oh, 1200 bucks or something? First? <laughs> something like that, yeah. I'll swap I, you I can find out. Equal first. I'll swap you from an equal first. Uh, who just won that? 
one, guys. Only one. So, um, sorry, I just wasn't watching the screen there, but I think uh, Jace is on the yellows. And they're actually all sitting pretty good. Here he is, mate. If he gets this roll on, yeah. runs these out, and then all of a sudden, 2-1 up. And mm. um, exactly exactly what we said at the start of the match, if he gets that run on, keeps running ball rack after rack, then yeah, he's done it to me a few times. Just just a home race to 11s, you know, 50 bucks. Yeah, he's definitely capable of it. If he gets a run on, you can't really stop him. Cause he's on yeah. the edge of the table, so... Yeah, as soon as you get that, that confidence up, um, yeah, it, the pots become much easier, the position seems to fall into place, and you get a flow on. I'm not too sure about that. You must, um, yeah. must have had a bad angle and had to come down tail. He really wanted to leave these last two, these two that he's playing now. I'm sure he would have wanted to leave them two last. So, so he's got to play quite a good positional shot here. Yeah. So run, run through this one off the rail or screw up? Um, I would run through and try to come onto the the one on the right hand rail. I think maybe the screwing is the option. Yeah. yeah. It's landed fairly well there. If yeah, you so that's this in. You can drop that's that in the middle. Mm. Yeah, the music selection today, mate. Well, that's uh, care of uh, Paulie Berger, the, the, music the, face. the music selection. I want to so punch Paulie Berger in the face. <laughs> <laughs> We, we, ca we, ca we occasionally get into s the 70s and 80s, but it's more like the 60s most days. Look, I don't, I don't mind the older, older stuff like Charlie Pride and, and stuff like that. I grew up with that, but um, you know, Celine Ooh. Dion in Chinese or whatever it was before was a bit how you going. Yeah, hard to, hard I had to, to focus there. Yeah. I'll uh, we'll have to talk to him about the music selection next time. Let's put mine on next time. Jason's missed there. Yeah, he's actually lucky Kenny not to go in off. Yeah, Kenny's got a bit of work to do here though in this frame to call it a win. So um, unless he gets a really good snooker and within the next one or two shots, I would say that Jason's still favourite. Yeah, I think um, unless Jason obviously got a shot at it when he comes to the table, he will start pushing reds up behind that yellow. Just miss the snooker there and yeah. just give him a clear shot at it. So he, he did need to get a snooker, but I mean the shot there was was more likely to pot pot the one that he had closer to the centre pocket and um, then get a snooker yeah. at the top of the table. Just create a lot of distance in the escape. Mm. Just more room for error that way. I mean Jason's still there's a bit of work. Yes. Yeah, still not an easy yeah, black ball I'll, I'll at one or I'll back him. I'll back him this is a, this could be a this could be a big shot though for the match. Mm. You miss this, go two one down, and all of a sudden confidence is beat. Yeah. So played it well. Yeah, it's, a it's a good shot. So uh, Jason takes a, a two one lead. frame and whatnot is um Kenny talks a lot during his matches. You notice that? Yeah, whole it's never ending. He's it's he's uh, always been like that, so even when you're just having a practice match or something with him he's uh Yeah, practice yeah. matches you can take you a little easier. Yeah, yeah but some say title, yeah, yeah. He sort of just mumbles to you as you're yeah. racking balls or whatever. It's some, com sometimes com it's complimentary and sometimes he beats yeah. himself up, but I think it's something um I I do well at tuning it out myself. Um a lot of guys that talk too much. Yep. I think <laughs> for Kenny Are you going to put na uh, s names to that, Jack? Or is uh, Dave Krasik. Oh, yeah? He's, yep. he's pretty good at it. Yep. Um, who else is there? Shannon Purcell, Queensland. Yeah, he's Shannon likes, good at it. Shannon likes to chat. He yeah. doesn't mind talking to himself. He's a yeah. conversation starter. The Big Red. Yeah. Shout out if he's watching. The player. Good. So I think for Kenny to... I mean, I rate Kenny as a player, but I think for him to get to that, um, that, next, that level, next level, he needs to <coughs> take himself a little bit more serious when he's at the table, yep. especially when it comes to um, conversation and, and
and things like that. And I think he could hold himself a lot better yeah. to put himself in a better mindset consistently. Mm-hmm. So he talks, he does talk himself out a lot. Um, yeah, he gets down on himself know, a lot. Yeah. So as soon as soon as things aren't running his way, he gets um, yeah, can get quite upset. So that, that's back, something he needs to work on. In the match against myself, he was he was down at one stage, but only by a frame. But yeah, he's down he's down, and you know he fought back well. But um, it wasn't without a conversation to himself at the table. Yeah, you know? yeah. So hopefully, he watches this back and listens and yeah, learns something from it. Uh, he, he does. He does get quite emotional about the game, Kenny, especially. He's he's only judging himself, but um, yeah, he's definitely a fantastic player. So that looks like we've got a bit of a tactical battle here. jt has got a red cover and the yellow in the corner, but um, Kenny can quite easily get a, a yellow inside that. Miss that shot, Matty. It looks like it may have been a loose one. Oh, that's a long shot of the corner. He, he, was, he was hampered with his bridge. But yeah, both players are seem like they're rushing a little bit and just getting down and hitting the balls with not too much thought. So hopefully they'll both settle soon. And uh, but it's hard to get going in a tactical game like this. But it's definitely part of our game and. Uh, yeah, you need to have your smarts about you to to be able to uh, win a frame like this. Yeah, Jason looks like he's just going to hold his way out of trouble here, though. Yeah. He's got oh, he has got yeah. that one up the top there. Yeah, he's got the red inside. Does a cannon straight in? He may be able to play you know, like a cannon extraction type of shot where you could play it at a pace to set it over. I think he's yeah. got to find a ball that he can do that with, though. He's probably best running this right up the rail. Yeah, I think he'll try to set it over. Yeah, the other take corner. control. That's two oh shots. Yeah, no rail. So it gives Kenny a huge opportunity. I think the red's actually too far out of the pocket to play the yellow off the red. But I was wrong. Because he could easily do it, but he's. Uh, the red's come across and uh, killed one of the other yellows. But still, he's still got two shots at hand and. So, tactically, would you give who would you give the advantage to in this match alone? Tactically, um, I think that's a hard one. Actually, um, at first thought, it was Kenny. Um, he, he is, he's got a, a lot of clever shots and and clever mind uh, thought process sometimes. So. Sometimes he gets a little bit impatient as well. So yeah, I think um, I think you could say Kenny would be more a more consistent tactical player, but yeah. Jason probably possesses a bit more creativity. Yeah, you know he, he probably sees the shots that Kenny doesn't see. Mm. Um, I think the only thing that stops Jason from playing tactically, from what I can tell, is the point that he doesn't enjoy it. Yeah, and that uh, I, I don't think he doesn't see the shots. To be honest, I yeah. think he just rather's go for what he wants to go for regardless yep. of the result so in saying that in the last year and a half I've noticed that his his tactical his tactical game has improved a lot oh definitely yeah. he's um he's even chalking the queue like me now in his words <laughs> 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 nationals he said it can he roll that yep it's a good shot yeah. so can he's definitely got control here Jason needs to do something here to take a bit of control of that black ball, yeah, if he can. Yep. Can you afford to put the ball over the hole? No. Not really. No, not really. I don't think he can. No, there's no... Uh, leave him a, a shot yeah, there's, no, waste his there's no value.
Kenny's Kenny's played a little containing safety there, but I think he's given Jason the opportunity to capitalise on a bit of safety himself here if he can take control of this bottom pocket and um, cover up that black ball, and he, he may force Kenny into having to double the black or extract it, which is not what Kenny wants to do from where the balls are, because at the opposite end of the table. So mm. it should be a good shot if Jason can get this pocket. Well, it's played yeah, it well. Yeah, it's played it very well. That's yeah, a good shot. Now, Kenny has a bit more work to do than he, he yeah. would have had. I think Kenny will get the black out of there straight away and try I to put it up. don't th think he has a shot at it. He's going to intentionally yeah. foul. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure I like this. I don't like this. I understand why he's done it, but I'd in this position here, Jason can extract the ball at the top. Yeah. And even if he can extract it, in the he, open. he can get. He can play red into it if he can't yeah. get to it. So either way, that that yeah. ball's coming out of there now. I would say. Oh, he's missed it by a long way. <laughs> I can tell you what he's trying to do, but um, yeah, it was probably the right shot. Um, I think I if he was to win the frame in those two visits, that was the shot he had to play. And now he's probably got to rethink the strategy a little bit. The only other thing I would have been tempted to do is just uh, just waste his first shot and then play the shot he just played then to get on his last red. Yeah. Uh, it goes opposite corner, yeah. He's played the foul here. It's two shots, but um, he's in a bit of he's still in a bit of strife regardless. Kenny's going to waste one to get out of there, and you know that black is onto the corner. All he has to do is get nice and straight on it. I only say he has to get nice and straight because um, they're not they're not the ones you want on a forty-five degree angle, no. so to speak. No. Especially in a final, if he can get nice on it, that'd be that'd be good for him. And um, Kenny, be creative here. He done this against me actually. The old Massa loves it. Oh. He's bottled it too. You kidding? I don't think he's. <laughs> he sort of I don't think he's thing. landed on that yellow though. I think that's why Mark Ferdinand gets coaching from Kenny because he plays those shots really well. Yeah. yeah, I often see Mark up up doing a big massage like that. Yeah. Yeah, gets a leg over. I was actually so impressed with how he throws <laughs> the leg over that um, last night at the club I gave him a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> uh. Screw that by a mile. Yeah. He could have been three foot on the table and still had a shot in it. Let's give Jason a big sniff here. Yeah. There's not much Jason can do, but if yeah. he can if he can get his balls into a good position. He only needs to promote one so that he guarantees a shot at it mm. to land on the other and yeah, leave Kenny probably knuckled up to that top rail, I'd say. All Kenny can do from there is you know, go the in or over. Yep. Either block the pocket if he misses or make it and play the double. Yeah, I'd, I'd be promoting the one on the right. Oh, yeah, I would too. And leaving the white as close to the top rail as he can. Yeah. But it's important to get that, that ready out a little bit. Yeah, uh, a little it's bit off the just rail. as important to get a good white here. Yeah. He's played that a bit. It's actually, um, d I don't like that shot for two reasons. The first one being he hasn't got the white tied to the no. rail. He's gone the pot and missed it. And um, two being when he gets back to the table, his balls are separated. Yeah. So it gives Kenny a lot more room for error with the way he plays his shot. Pot and he's left himself a, he's got a, a nice little double, double there. That. Uh, he's, he's actually going to force this a bit by the look of it. Bit of a yeah, bit of screw. Straighten it up. Mm. Didn't see no dramas. Yeah, Whoa, yeah, straighten didn't up straighten it up. Needed to straighten up a bit more. So now Jason's looking at the issue that we mentioned with the balls yeah. being separated. Now he's got a, his white ball's going to travel 18 feet before he gets to the black mm. ball, which yeah, is a long way a on a pool table. 
Yeah, there's a lot of room for error with it, so I think he's going to have a crack at the, the one on the top rail here. That's really his only shot. You can't bump. Do you think it's a possibility to bump the one out that he's closest to and get a small snooker? That's a good shot. So I think double, double. Yeah, so I don't even think he can get a snooker here. Double, double. Double, 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 double eh? Hey? Well, I think he'd rather be having a crack at the double. So yeah, he will have a, have a go at this. He's nearly been fortunate enough to stop the double, but I think I think the dub the black still goes inside the red. And he's left a pretty safe white. He's left a good white. It's very. I feel like it's a negative way to play the black, though. Yeah. It was he I playing think for the safety? Was no, I think I think he was more trying to straighten up the the black, which I don't yeah. know if he needed to. Jason here, I'd probably, probably double this over. I can't see whether the cut's on or not. No, probably a bit thin. Wow. Not hard enough. <laughs> I think that shot would have been to double it over, Matty, and um, bring the white, the white up, up, and, yeah. up and down. Just yeah. take the white up and down mm. and, and leave a long, nothing black. He's not going to miss. No, not from there. 22. Well, some of us don't know why. Thank you, up your day job. Massive break by JT. Yeah, split very nicely, and he's big on yellows, which is uh, which is the right balls. Nitsy on the beer run, legend. So Jace has got a big break there, Jack, and he's uh, he's on yellows pretty quickly and. But he's, got, he's landed a bit short on his first shot. Like he's landed a bit under. Yeah. So should take his time here. I mean, um, I mean, the start of the out, at the start of, before you play your shots at all, any shot, is when you probably want to make you take the most time to yeah. decide what you're going to do, map your out, you know, work everything yeah. out, all the do's, don'ts, and things like that. Yeah. So the first visit to the table is usually easy. the most important. Yeah. And it's pretty easy to get a get a rush of blood. You see the balls are all plum and cherry. Yeah. That's, and, um, that's when you make the mistakes. And that's so when you make the mistakes, yeah. He's so it's played a good a nice recovery one, shot there. Yeah. So. so probably one more good shot to land in decent position. And um, I'd say he's out. So you play this confidently off the side rail? I do. Yeah. yeah. Yes, he's under hit that a little bit. Uh, yeah. In, um, I'd looking at it from here, I'd come... I'd just run through on this, come off to the, the bottom and opposite side rail. I can see yeah. the other one. What are we talking about, Matty? So JT's got a couple options here. He can screw off the side rail and go to black in the middle. Or he's I think, just I think the middle's a safe bet here. Yeah. yeah. He's got a big hole there with the red sitting over it. So Jason uh, finishes the game nicely with the master. I'm pretty sure it was a master.
we'll see how Kenny's break goes here. He's um, been breaking very good this weekend. Not always getting balls, but he's been splitting really well, which is something he's struggled with for, a, for quite a while, he said to me. And yeah, he's split him well. But Did you just say Kenny hasn't pointed a ball off his break in a while? No, I said that Kenny, he's been working on his break, but he's, um, he's been splitting him really well lately, uh, but not always getting balls. But today he's been, been quite good. That's good analysis. I was going to say today he broke quite well against me. Yeah. yeah. No. But Kenny does have a tendency to rag on his own break a little bit, and I think I think most of his issues on his break simply come from just a negative mindset. Yeah. And undersells himself a little bit with mm. it because he does break quite well. He hits the balls well. Hits he does. Yeah. He doesn't really dump the white a great deal. Um. So it's something else. He, if he watches his back, he can mm. get a confidence for him. Hmm. So Jason's actually got a, a huge opportunity to get a, yeah, a, little a rever reverse master here. Um, master pot? Ma master shot. I think that's what they call it. Master shot, is it? Master shot, master yeah. Pot, master shot. Master, master shot, yeah. A bit of Anastasia going on in the background. Why not? So Jason's actually landed uh, not ideal here. He's actually got to go into the other yellow. I, f I think he'll be fine with it. I think he's good enough at controlling these little cannons, but he knows what he's doing with it. It's actually went the corner, but he's missed it. Ooh, missed by a lot. Taking it down, down the road. I'm not sure I agree with that. I think no, he's, he's... I mean, looking from where I was, um, looks like he could have played a controlled cannon. Yeah. And um, the way he's potting and making balls, making shots, I think he should have backed himself for it. Only because it's a guaranteed pot. I mean, we're taking it down the bottom tentatively. Yeah. It's um, it not leaving a great deal of confidence left in the tank after it. Mm. So again, he's got a lot of his balls open here, but he's got the, the red near the yellow, and I'm not sure if that red actually passes the black. Actually, that, that red near the yellow goes inside the yellow of the hole, I think. Yeah. You have to go cushion first. Bottom, bottom jaw off the yellow. Yes, yeah, he's so actually missed the pot and ran too far. I expect Jason to mop up from here and punish him. Would you go, this, go the long one to the corner or would you go the one over the hole? Um, if he goes the long one to the corner, he's then he's... I don't, think, I don't think the long one to the corner is on into the centre. If it was onto the centre, I'd take the ball over the hole, but because it's only onto the corner, I'd take it now. Yeah. He's missed out by a long way. I didn't take his time on no. that. He just sort of just got down and yeah. barely feathered. Yeah. It's good to try to uh, to build confidence, but um, you still need to take your time to do so. Yeah. Just getting down and playing fast doesn't necessarily build your confidence. Only if you're on all the racks that you get down fast on. <laughs> <laughs> who do you who do you find the best player in ACT for for building their confidence? It's like during a match. Some guys some guys start slower than others and build as they, they go through the match. Yeah. Others just start strong out of the blocks and good luck catching them. Yeah, it's hard to pick pick someone. Um, for me, for me, probably Edmund. Yeah, I was I was gonna I was gonna mention Edmund. Yeah. Edmund gets confidence um, early. He's yeah. really hard to reel in. And a good thing about Edmund, he doesn't change his game regardless of who he's playing or no. or um, what position in the match he's in. If he, if he's down by four or five frames, he'll still go them shots if he yep. if they're the right ball. He's on into the centre, and I'd say Jason's in a bit of trouble here. If not, he's still in trouble, but there's mm. just a bit more work to do. Doesn't matter, oh he's broke he's it out. Uh, oh he's killed the black. No, nah, he'll get nah, the black out of there. It's not a drama. <laughs> I think, I don't even know if he'll try to move it. I reckon he'll leave the... Uh, I, I think I'll, I'll have a $50 bet that he'll move it. 
provided he gets to the right ball to do it with. Yeah, well, it's quite obvious the one he'll try to use to to promote the black. And but here it is. Yeah. There is no way you go the out from there without moving the black with, with Jason's ball over the hole, in my opinion. Anyway. Yeah, I'm just looking where he, well, from where he's landed there. If he, if he screws into the black here, he's going to leave himself not ideal on the the red to the middle. Could stun into it with left-hand side. Yes. Or right-hand side, sorry. So you come off the red onto the rail and back underneath the reds. Yep. He hasn't uh, played it very well, but he has... The viewers can't quite see you pointing at the screen here, Jack, but I, I, got, I got what you said there, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Jack was just uh, doing a, a, this is the an illustration shot. of uh, which way Kenny should have went, but he didn't really... Yeah, I understood what he meant. Where's George? We need to get lines on the screen. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea, That's a good recovery. That's a good recovery. Well done. He, you know what? I think after that pot deserves to clear the frame. Yeah. So that's a good recovery. Held his head. So screwing off the side rail across for the black in the, the right hand middle here. You yeah, run off two rails, take it to the corner? Nah, I'll be Okay. Mm, actually, there's a little bit more angle than I thought there. If, um, I think two rails. And yeah, up the table if I realised that would have been a safer option. Yeah. You don't want to be near the shallow queuing on the black. I think you could actually you could have got across a fair bit further, but oh, yeah. and, and that's why <laughs> if he wasn't queuing over the hole around the yellow and all sorts yeah, of areas, the, the black is simple. Yeah. But yeah. I think for the angle he had, the shot was to come out and just give yourself every opportunity at taking it into the corner pocket, full mm. open pocket, you're not shooting at half a hole, yeah. and you're not queuing near anything, you can get your, your full hand on the bed of the table and pick your range, cue it nicely. So Jace is taking a 4-2 lead, which is uh, going against my, my earlier prediction. Not mine, Matty. But uh, Jack's uh, <laughs> on JT's back here, but we'll uh, see how the, end, the match ends as up. A, as an ex-hammerhead, I feel <laughs> like it's <sport. laughs> No, I like, I like Jason. I like Kenny as well. Kenny and I actually practice together, probably have a hit once a fortnight, actually. Uh, yeah, and I noticed you've been sports. playing long races against him, which is... Uh, yeah, he doesn't I don't like know. him. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how you can do it. And yeah, he, he's mentioned he doesn't like it, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I like the longer races oh, for yes. the, the mental aspect of it. Yeah. Because it gives you a chance, in my opinion, a race to 11, yes, it allows for momentum swing and you can learn a little bit about your opponent in that time. But if you get a good run on, the game's over still. Mm. Uh, I look at, um, say, Joel Younger versus Mick Hill at Big Guns as an example. Yeah. Um, Joel got a good run on, potted a lot of balls and... Yeah, before Mick could figure out what was going wrong or right, yeah. it was over. Yeah, um, you make that a race, uh, race the 21, 21 could be a or 25. Over. Exactly, yeah. big different story. Well, it may not be a different story, but Joel no. would have but had to continue playing the way Joel he was. For Joel to keep up so at that level against the best player at the world in the world would have um, would have been definitely a challenge for him. Definitely capable of doing it, but so I find for me the longer races help me just because. You could be 11-5 down and all of a sudden figure out exactly what your opponent's doing to get you. And you can, you've can you got time to turn it around. Mm. And when you're, when you're practicing to improve, not to make money or to, you know. Yeah. There's, no, there's no other side motivation for me other than to improve when it comes yeah, to Yeah, that that's a good way to put it. It's so there is a difference. You, know, you yeah. get to learn a little bit more about your opponent and see if you're good enough to capitalise on what you've learnt. Mm. Um, see if you can change your own game to suit how they're playing to get a better result. So, I think in the longer races, you're better off. As for just from an improvement point of view, it is boring. Don't get me wrong, but you know, but yeah, it's got to improve. I feel it's like it's got a it's got a purpose. Yeah. yeah, and I think the guys who don't like it are the ones that um, don't look for that sort of stuff. Yeah, you know. I remember uh, when I was first learning the game, actually, I used to put 50 bucks up a fortnight to race anybody in my hometown of Geelong. Yeah, and I remember you telling me that, actually. And the yeah. race was a minimum race to 21 every fortnight. 
and didn't yeah. matter who who said yes to it. Most of the time, it was someone down there, Dave Krasik, who's an absolutely great player. He's made yeah. state teams in Victoria and plays good pool. Um, and every every single time, I eventually got punished. Mm. But every time, I learned something you learned from about it, yeah. myself, about yeah. how he played and shots that I could improve on and um, things like that. So that eventually, I could at least keep up with the guy. Mm. You know. You know, I think in a race to 11, I would have been too too nervous for too long to pick up on anything. I found for the first 10 frames, I was already, I was too out of it to even, I was in awe of what he was doing to mm. even think about what I was doing, so. Oh, well, Jace, is, I thought he was getting on that roll on that you were talking about before. He, that was been a, a lovely out. Yeah. He's just uh, overcut that black in the middle and uh, given Kenny an opportunity. That would have been a huge advantage for Jason and a big builder of his confidence to to go up five two. So they're pretty open for Kenny here. Yeah. I think he'll have a crack at these and well, uh, I don't. I'm not sure I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, that was. I I can't. Two rails on. Yeah. Yes. Two rails on. Oh. Up beside oh. the yellow. Yeah, I think so. Or I think the yellow might be in the way. But in my mind, when when you got an out like that, you got to take. You got to take, take the ball yeah. to, to build your confidence. To Jason's got up and down with a lot of side. Not yeah, enough side though. yeah, it was a big ass that one. But uh, yeah, it's interesting. Mm. I'm not going to go as far as to say it's a turning point if Jason holds himself. No, I think Kenny's still got to pull the balls. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, this is Kenny's body language at the moment, like he's he's, he's up and down, like yeah. he's when when he's in trouble, he's playing really fast, and now he's got a quite a quite a straightforward out with two shots, and he's just taken a good 30, 40 seconds on that first shot, which is not a bad thing, but just to me, his body language is um, a little bit negative at the moment. Yeah, mate, I will. Yeah, thanks, mate. Okay, well, I it's really it pretty down. elementary here from here for Kenny. Yeah. I can't Just see him making a mistake. Jason's body language here, just um, sitting over there at the table on his own. And, um, doesn't look too bad about it, is, in my no. opinion. He actually looks like, yep, he's copped it already. He's already copped it and he's ready. Yeah, JT's looking pretty relaxed, I think. There's not much you can do when your opponent's at the table, so it's quite easy to get down on yourself no, yeah. when you're not there. So this can be one of Kenny's loose shots. Yeah, Played it well. No, he hasn't. Ooh. That was what I meant. Yeah, he wasn't confident with that. Sometimes he hits him a little bit hard and and jaws him like it's that. Hits that outside jaw. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's played that one soft enough, so it's not going to make a difference. But sometimes puts himself in a bit of strife. Mm. I've noticed that a couple of times yeah. racing him. So Kenny pegs one back, uh, makes it four three, and it's uh, Kenny's break in the next frame. Great, great updating of the scores there, Jack. Mate. Thanks, mate. One handed, yeah. even. Okay. Very I'm impressive, mate. I'm a, I'm a genius at doing repetitive movements only. <laughs> Typical Tyler, mate, we're on computers all day. Yeah. You know how it is. So I'll see if Kenny can continue his uh, good braking form here. I don't know what he's actually changed, but he's definitely braking better. That's a big break. He yeah, deserves yeah. a ball and hit it really clean. Yeah, he got, got a red straight to the corner. I think he's going to take the yellows though straight away. Uh, yeah, yellow. He's nominated yellow. Yep. I don't blame him. Probably taking me so. 
So here, there's no way he could have planned this out in that little bit of time. He's just That's selected not, the balls. No, it's just because they're all there. Yeah. And all open and, and mentally you go, I can't miss from here. And, and this is what I've seen a lot today from multiple players. That they're just, yeah, they're not taking that time they need. Like, I'm you, guilty you, of it myself today, to yeah, be honest. Like, um, I found that when I was behind in a couple of matches, even against yourself, I was 3 1 down, I think, at one stage, or 4 1 or something. You, don't, you um, don't need to remind me, mate. No, no, no. <laughs> I know what you're saying. <laughs> Once I started to take take the time to work my outs out before I got down on my first shots, I started to mm. clear more of them. Yeah, and you make did. More yeah. of the ball. Yep. Just a, a mental note that I had to take. Mm. Sorry to remind you. Not sorry, actually. We're on different sorry, teams, mate. Sorry, mate. did well. <laughs> <laughs> different teams. I think our side of the um, draw was heavily stacked today, actually. Yeah, it was I the think top half. You, myself, Kenny. Yeah. There was a, a lot of really and top like players there. And um, chuck Anthony Chair into the mix, who uh, yeah. is a ma has made the singles final before. I actually played um, Anthony in a final one year. Yeah, um, but he's been out of the game a little bit. He's come back in the last twelve months or so, so he's not ranked, so he's not seated. But um, yeah, I thought he'd go pretty deep into the tournament, which he which he did. Right, Kenny's playing a nice shot there. Good yeah. recovery. He wasn't out of position. I think he can roll, just roll this in and roll behind those two two yellows, take him to the right hand corner. I wouldn't be forcing myself to hold the white to the left corner. It's a natural angle just to roll in. Yeah. Well, natural angle to hold as well, my bad. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that. Um, the table's a lot faster. That's longer than I thought. The, <laughs> <laughs> and the angles are deceiving too on the, yeah. on the camera. So we've still got to get the right position here to make an easy transition down to the black. And. It's pretty well. Yep. So I think he's, you know, actually he might have a little, looking at this camera here, he might have a little bit of angle to. I think he just, I think he just punched this in. Skewing, skewing over the red side, so maybe like a stun screw, just bring it down about a foot. You don't have to come any further than that. There it is, a foot, a yep. foot and a half, there you Perfect. go, straight on. Okay, I'll just set a heads up for my lovely wife that your mic's not working too well, mate. Yeah. Oh God. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's on. It's just. Uh, Is that better, Kath? <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> <Hello. laughs> it's not a, it's not a, a CB radio, mate. <laughs> Any better? Kath, where are you? Anyway, 44. Four all. That's Another fine. efficient score update from Jack. And I'll better update the pool stat. So that's another thing that was uh, uh, new to this event. Um, was pool stat, live scoring, which is um, uh, it was seemed to work quite well. Everyone grasped it quite easily. And um, everyone was willing to use it. So thanks to everyone that played in the event and, and used their, their mobile device to update the scores. It, Makes the tournament director's job easier and also enables live scoring for, for everyone else to view. I, um, I'm a huge fan of the concept and um, I agree with you that it adds a lot to the tournament. It makes your job a lot easier as a tournament director and everything. For me as a player, I, I really dislike looking at my phone and touching it while I'm playing, so I just get my opponent to do it. But yep. And there's yeah. people that are like that, and there's people that don't have a device, so um, and it can be a distraction as well. There's only one person that doesn't have a device, let's be honest. <laughs> but he's not going to watch oh this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Thank you, Kath. Yes. Uh, Is that better? Jack, your mic's a bit better. He just realised that he just realised he needs to put it closer to his mouth. Sorry, Kath. So I think. Um, Jace is on reds, or I'm not sure if he's had a shot yet. Um, he has he now. He almost jawed it around the table. Yeah. Often. Mm. 
he's getting a little bit lazy there and yeah, there's no need to strike that ball that hard. I think he's just in a little bit of a, a lapse, just a lapse in concentration there after losing a couple of frames. Yeah. Sometimes the best that your best friend in this situation can be um, perspective. Just, just sit back and think about it. Mm. A lot of frames to be played. It's a race to 11. It's only four yeah. all. So just refresh. Get back to the table with a fresh mind and mm. and work hard to get the frame back. Yeah, that's the key. You've got to never give up and, and, and fight for the frames. Get the score out of your mind. Um, I know these guys will be really tired. I'm tired. I haven't played for a couple of hours. Um, but yeah, it's a definitely a big weekend, and that has an effect on the on the players' performance. But so another thing introduced to ACT this year, as long along with the singles, is actually prize money for it, which I think is great. Gives the, all the guys some good incentive, apart from making the state side to get their butts in the gear and play some good ball. It's worth yeah. practicing for. So yeah, I think so. Twelve hundred dollars for first, is it? Yeah, twelve or thirteen hundred dollars. I think it was from from memory. So. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a good incentive, and um, yeah, this venue here's been fantastic. Uh, thanks to the the Harmony German Club, which is also where we're holding uh, the nationals this year. And uh, there's going to be plenty of room at the nationals because we've got six tables here in front of us at the moment, and um, there's plenty of room for for another four down here. So I think Jason's just got a kick there. He reckons. Walked away from the table, asking Kenny if he heard the heaviness, the heavy contact, and Kenny agreed, yeah, so maybe he did. Yeah, he's nodding his head a little bit, so he's, yeah. but he's got to get that out of his mind. He's, that's disappointing and frustrating when something like that happens, but it is. But it's the yeah, nothing you can do. That happens to everyone. I've actually had the white ball cleaned a couple of times today because I've noticed the the chalk starting to stick to it. Yeah. And, um, for a second, I thought you were using terrible chalk, and <laughs> I had to clean it during my match with Kenny, and maybe it was my own chalk. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, I was ready to lose it. No, I've al always used triangle chalk, but and uh, never changed. Never wanted to change. I know people that try different things. Even my old man has been experimenting with different chalks that apparently don't leave any marks or anything on the on the white ball or the cloth. Usually, usually triangle's pretty good. Uh, I don't have many dramas with it myself, but the um, the blue stuff, Masters, is it? That's terrible. Yeah, I'm not sure, mate. <laughs> it, it sticks to everything. Mm. It's okay. I'm not even going to give you my analogy of how well it sticks, because it's not fit for the microphone. Okay. Kenny's movements over here. Watching Jason. Mm. He, um, yeah, well he Kenny just had a chance to drop that yeah. in the middle and he missed it by quite a way, which would have given him an opportunity to take the frame. But he's left it pretty awkward for Jace. But Jace might be able to. Safety here for Jace. I think so. I think I he think needs to hit it quite thin. But he's got to be. Yeah. Look at the shot here. You're gonna look at me weird, but he could play this ball straight into the. Could have played a billiard there and, and um, screwed back down the table to leave a safe white. Yep. Yeah, so most people would have naturally thought to, to get a safe white up behind all them, them reds. But yeah, you could have come back down this end of the table yeah. and left a, a safe white as well. You'd have to be pretty accurate with where you left it though because yeah. if you leave it on the right angle, it's just a roll in yep. and you're in position again. So. so Kenny just needs one good pot here and he's... Should take the frame. He hasn't left himself in it. Greatest of angle. I think he's actually he's got an angle coming yeah. straight back to the yellow. Or the oh, off. I think he's screwing back to the rail. He's going to have to play this with bottom and left. Or he's going to run yeah, through. Yeah, he's going to run through. The top bottom rail and straight back up the table. It's a hard shot to cue well. So he's played that very well. He's nearly yeah, over here. He's over here. No, he's okay. Yeah, it's a good shot. Um, one good shot by Kenny here to take a 5 4 lead. You back him for this black? He's got a quite a long, yeah, I do. It's a very he's long bridge. He's got here. a long bridge, yeah. Still back him to make it though. I've seen him pot these 100,000 times. 
Yep, plays it confidently and takes a 5-4 lead. I've noticed with Kenny when he when he gets into a bit of a zone, he um, he gets around the table a bit quicker, but takes more time getting ready for his shot as like as he's approaching his shot and as he's down on it, he feathers yeah. a little bit more. Um, I wouldn't say it's a consistent routine, but it is in a no. sense like as in it's not consistent. Doesn't feather the same amount of times and things like that, or check the shots the same amount of times, but. He does consistently take his time when he gets into a routine like that. Like yeah, he does. That makes he any kind of sense. It does. And, he, and I was talking about it in the previous match when he was playing you that he was... Um, sorry, just a bit of distraction there yeah, from yeah, the I'm audience. Just the moi moi. Yes, the, the, the Tanaskovic cheer squad. A miscue on the break there. Yeah, he hit that. There's definitely a the right hand side of the uh, the head ball, so that lost a lot of power. A lot of um, side on the white by accident, so I think that's why he hit that part of the ball. He would have been aiming centre and cued off centre on the white, which would have thrown it to the opposite side of the ball he wanted to contact. Mm -hmm. it's maybe looking into it too deep, but that's <laughs> what happened. <laughs> but he's got away with it because he's left Jace not much at all. I don't know, I think Jason can take this red into the into the centre, off the yellow. If he can get that and clear the yellow, the reds are on to go. He's so for the viewers, which red yellow. were you talking about, Jack? The one that he's um, <laughs> not gone for. <laughs> I think it was closest to up the top. Yep. So he's gone yellows and the... Um we need a pen. <laughs> we need a pen for the screen so I can draw it for the people at home. <laughs> All right, we're just asking the, uh, um, George how we uh, get lines on the screen to to illustrate <laughs> what we're talking about. Cause, Make uh, life easier. Because Jack's having a little bit of uh, trouble grasping the concept that you're not all here watching him draw on the screen. I'm only human. But he's, do he's doing well. Anyway, it's very, very insightful, his, his comments. I want to... I want to talk about Jason's out here because he's gone the outlet. He's leaving his two balls on the rail to the last. I'm not sure the double swing may have to play this yellow off the red. Yeah, yeah. yeah. through the pocket, good shot. It's so is that is that double still on? Um, the double's on across the table now. Got a bit of work to do to get onto this one closest to the cue ball now. Yeah. And the black is on on the both corners, but you probably only want to take it to one mm. or center if you have to. But it's only onto one center, so. So you'd be going the double now. What would you be? Because um, he'd be struggle. He'd struggle to hold for the for the double if he goes the other one. You could take the cut and go twice over to hot mm. to make the double next. If you make the cut and go twice over and land straight in the double, then your black's easy. You it's play the double. Uh, you have to land well. He's blocked his own hole there. Bit of Nora Jones in the background, guys. Who's Nora Jones? She's a lovely soul singer. Listen. My love has come along. She doesn't sing soul like me, Maddie, but she's close. She, you know, she actually put effort into her singing, so she's going somewhere with it. He's looking into this a little bit much, I think. Yeah. Well, I think if, if that Jason doubles on, Jason can actually go out because he's got the red well, he's got the, the top corner to play the yellow off. So that way he can play the pot at pace to get good position on the black. Mm. If he can land, if he can play this double and land underneath oh. it, well, couldn't see enough of it. Never mind. Yeah, right. He's just bumped it out. Yeah. So unless Kenny makes a mistake here, he, he should 
not necessarily take the frame on this visit, no, but I mean, this this visit here, I think Kenny needs to take his time with, and really, five at a score line where it is now, five four up. Um, he's a, got a good opportunity. Jason's got two dead balls. It's a good chance to punish him for it. Mm. Really dig the boots in. Sometimes yeah. going out just because the balls are there isn't the right option. Sometimes you can you know get in front mentally by um, yeah, digging the boots in a little more. Yeah, you know, take, taking the two frame lead. Yeah, that's uh, could we'll be that'll we'll hurt halfway more. through the match, but that's a two mm. flat two frame buffer that gives you that. It's a two frame confidence. buffer, and he's over halfway to the to the win, so it's yeah, it's it a, it's can a make a big difference. An important frame. Good effort for the pot, but I'm not sure what he would, would have done afterwards, unless that no. unless that yellow goes to the it corner. Might actually, be on mm. to that corner. So Kenny's only really got the the red next to the yellow that's that's awkward, which he it may actually go into the corner once he moves the other red out of the way. Oh, actually, punish me for it, but I want to play the red beside the black. Doubled into the rail just to bring it back closer to the pocket and leave the white spooked the yellows behind the black. Mm. That's my shot. And it's not because I can't go game, and it's not because the out isn't there to take. It's only because I want to punish mentally more than it's physically, if that makes make sense. Make sure. So, a good chance to get out of the snooker, and you won't get two shots mm. out of it. But it, you're a better chance of him being colder again when he gets to the table after it because he's not potting balls and not queuing well and things like that so that's a good pot by Kenny but I'm not sure I agree with the shot it's, um, it's very aggressive it is me. it is it's confident building I guess but um, it can be maybe quite easily miss that yeah it can be confident slashing as well mm. a little angle here so he'll just run off the top rail bit of top come back down Oh, he's mm. he doesn't allow for the throw there. Yeah, he played it to the left-hand side of the pocket, which pushed yeah. the white across. That, so and uh, I've noticed Kenny with his queuing, he queues a lot of, um, his top spin, his top spin is very centre white top spin, yeah. and in his so screw shots th are very, throws it. a very stunned screw mm. shot, they're not, he doesn't play deep, like deep bottom and, and to the far top of the white, so that can make a big difference to where you can get it. Yeah, it definitely has a different reaction with the white ball. So when he's on though, he lands straight enough for everything to mm -hmm. it does make a difference. So you know, when he's on he's as good as anybody. So So is he just gonna glance this and get the snooker behind the two? Yeah. He's gonna put it he's gonna put it where I wanted to put it uh, four shots, shots ago. ago. Yeah. yeah. With with the balls more dead than they are now. So does uh J T have a go at one of his uh has to JT special hasn't got a choice. It's not even a JT special. It's actually just the right shot now. <laughs> <laughs> there's no other options really. Sometimes you got to hit and hope. Yeah. Yeah. There's no control. I've actually seen safety in this I've shot. actually seen a moy moy special from here come off. Yeah, here we so go, maybe oh, oh, he's gone in. No, he's gone the JT. He's gone the JT. If he went the moy moy special, it would have been a chance. Mm. argue for three hours about how Kenny's taken these balls with two shots, but I don't think that's the right shot. I think that's the wrong ball to play because he's playing across the line of the one in the centre of the yeah, table. Yeah, play the one in the centre of the table first. Allow, if there's a mistake there, you've got one shot to mop them up, but they're mm. all over the hole and mm. yeah, no pressure. Yeah. Like I said, it's not going to make a difference. Again, yeah, the game's over, but just for argument's sake, I think the right shot there would to be to play to your lines and give yourself every percentage yeah. in your favour. I've actually noticed Kenny does that quite a bit. He he comes across the, the line for yeah. uh, all the time. and It's actually quite frustrating to play against because you can't predict a lot of what he's going to do mm. as an opponent. But, but he's going to get away with the frame and take a 6-4 lead. Not putting it in yet. So 
about six four to Kenny and Jason's break. So, so Jason's lost four in four in a row here on the trot. He really needs to mm. really needs to stop the rot, get back on top of this. There's only two frames behind, so it's important to have a good break here. Yeah, yeah, but there's a big difference, Matty, between seven four and oh six yeah. five in a yeah. race to eleven. Yeah, that's so. Yeah, so he, it's a, a cru uh, crucial seven, game for him. At seven four, he has to win seven to three. Yeah. So it's a it's a more than fifty percent turnaround from there. So I think for Jason to, to keep in it and not have to have a massive run later, he needs to put his finger out now. Don't yeah. let him run too late because Kenny's yeah, solid. He's going to run out of well. frames to have that run. Yeah, if Kenny gets and confident, he's, he's starting to get confident. Um, mm. Then he can run rack after rack as well. So. Mm. So JT's come up dry. It's, uh, is uh, I think from there going to go reds. Purely because that's all he's really got, I think. And they probably are a little bit better, except for the red behind the yellow. He's actually going to go the safety, safety option. That's, that's not a bad option, actually. You like it? But it depends how easy it's going to be for JT to do the same thing. With where he's left it, it's not that easy. So it's not a bad shot. He's too close to the ball just to glance off it and then come back to the top rail. He's going to have to come down on it a bit, I think. Can you come off the rail with a bit of right-hand side and come back there? Yeah, I don't think that was too... Well, I sort of think he's put much thought into that. He's sort of just gone, oh, I've got nothing, I'll play it anyway. Yeah. And, um, at the very least, get the white tied to a yeah. rail or kill one of the balls you're closest to or make them frozen anything other than leaving him in the centre of the table mm. yep so Kenny's played he's played that pretty bad actually yeah he's that was a rail shot though I still and the way he can he can nearly leave that to his last ball if you wanted to but yeah I don't think he will um I'm not a huge fan of leaving your hardest shot to last oh no definitely not it's you just the pressure just builds regardless of the scoreline. You don't want that pressure yeah. on the last shot. And that you want to be taking them easy by the time you get to there. You do the hard work while the pressure's not yeah. on. You feel like the, the frame is a lot safer if you miss when there's mm. more balls on the table. And he's taken it now, so he's hurt us. He's missed, he's, it. He's missed it, but he's got the hole. Yeah, so that's it's a right. good shot. Yeah, it's the right shot. And if, he, if he gets that, he's, he's got the frame. All that's done is, oh, I don't know if I'd do this either, because that, Jason with a few shots, it gives him an opportunity to double that yellow across right the first shot. So yeah. if I was Kenny, I wouldn't be giving it to him. I'll just get the red out of there. Yeah. Cause and the, the black, the face cut the red closest to the yellow and send the white into the black mm. towards that right hand rail, so you've got control of the black. I don't think Pot misses a rush. shot because give Jason a chance to get his ball out. Uh, and he's put it over there to get it out. He can cut this over and maybe yeah. pot it. That's actually and, he, and he's got national angle to get up. It's to actually this. not well thought out, to be honest. No. But Jason's got down and played that really quickly. And he's going to go in off here. No, not quite. Oh. So he's covered the red, but mm. the shot he'll play here, I think he's, he'll cut the... Left hand yellow down the rail. Uh, I think he's gonna. Yeah, that's what he's looking at. I think that's the right shot. Yeah, no, I think so. Yeah. As long as he doesn't get the other yellow out of the way. It's yeah, actually it's a good shot. Good control of the pocket. So they put Jason favourite for the frame now. Just good. Yeah.
So it looks like Henny's actually going for the frame here. If he gets right in behind that that red next to the two yellows, it's um it's ideal. It, it, it's there, but it's, it's got to screw down. He's got to screw down to it now, doesn't he? Yeah, I think he's got he, the angle. He, no, his angle's going away from the the oh. position he needs to be. Would have been uh, maybe better off just taking the pocket, mm. which is what I thought he would do. No, he's but landed. He's actually played, he's played that perfect. Yeah, he's landed perfect. The only problem with doing it this way across the line and another yeah. one across the line. Yeah. And landed perfect. I don't know how he does it consistently, but he's going to land on this red plum yeah. just by rolling it in. But he's still got the black to contend with as well. So if he lands underneath, underneath the red that he's playing for next, he can punch the black out with it. So he's actually trying to move that. I don't know if yeah. that angle to land on it. Yeah. That's just low percentage. As he's on the water here, guys, this means something to him. He wasn't even on the waters last night. <laughs> no, he definitely wasn't on the waters last night. That may, may be why he's got a bit of that green tinge to him at the moment. Oh, I was kissing him anyway. Triple this into the centre. Can double up top. A big double at the corner. Oh, I'm going to call this a 6-5. Call that a six five actually. I'm pretty confident Jason's gonna take these. He's I looking relaxed, he's on the water. Yeah, we no, know that now. He's not confident because he he's gonna go the one that hold he'll go the one over the hole, I think. <laughs> Here he's t he's a bit I I would personally play the one over the hole. I'd play both the balls over the hole first. Mm. I'll play one to get onto the other to make good position to go frame. I wouldn't even bother with a long shot first up. because no, it doesn't get you anything for position doesn't get you anywhere unless you play it in, in a way that you, you run up the table and get rid of your ball up mm. top which he needs to get to sooner rather than later he may actually yeah, play that last now last. yeah and uh, if you can land underneath it and come off the top rail back down so is it the way he's landed here he's going to have to go the, the yellow over the hole and then force the one into the the middle a little bit oh, just have to force that he does it's not actually ideal, to be honest, Matty. Just looking over at the table, not on the camera. It's one of those really awkward shots. The black's half in the way of your queuing. Mm. So I don't blame him for taking the ball over the hole here. Yeah. It's a good angle. That's a good shot. I would have liked to come back another six inches myself, just to make sure of this next one, so you, your hand's on the bed of the table. But um, it's not going to bother him. No, he's played a bit fussy with those little things. I yeah. don't want to land there. So hopefully he can come up the table far enough. He's played it. Yeah, he's, he's played come well. up plenty. So I don't. Th I don't think he'll miss this. So this is a big frame for Jace. That puts him right back in the match. Absolutely. Oh, watch the white. So sixty-five. So do you see that now as? Need a break. Do you see that now as Kenny going? I can't pull away from him. He's still there. You know, like that kind of yeah, I know. situation, or do can, you see can it like, be oh, watching? I got in front this easy, I can do it again. You know, sometimes yeah. you can question yourself. I got in front of Kenny at six all, yeah, or, or six five up, and I thought, yeah, well, I can pull away from him easily. And yep. then you got the next two or three frames, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh no, chasing my tail. So yeah. it can quite easily go against you just by, you know, taking it a little bit lackadaisic in that situation. Mm. I know myself, I'm shocking for it. I've tried to work on it the last three years. It's something I do consistently is something I do consistently is get in get in front in a match and um, subconsciously take the foot off the pedal. Mm. Can you help? Can you help me? <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, <about> that. <laughs> I was distracted then. Sorry. About that. What was your question again, buddy? I said. Uh, I was just mentioning scoreline mm -hmm. and how the scoreline affects you in the match as to how you think about the match and frames that you're about to play. Yep. And um, quite often when you get to, say, 6-5 scoreline, it's quite easy to think to yourself, well, I can get in, I'm already in front, I can get in front again, no worries if he mm -hmm. catches up or, you know, keep that strong mentality of um, putting the foot down while you're there, you know. Yeah. Um, I find myself that I quite often take the foot off without even yeah. realising. It's something that I do subconsciously that I've been working on for a few years and can't seem to fix. And I think a lot of players do. It's it's um 
and I'm, I'm guilty of it myself. I, I often get off to a good lead, and then I often get caught. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm usually pretty good from coming from behind, but um, so am I. Uh, <laughs> I could have put that a better way, but I think you were thought, <laughs> thought in the in the garden. No, I was just talking about our match, Matty. You know, where's but your mind going? <laughs> oh, sure, you were. Ah, oh, yeah. So, um, but I think it's it's important to have that uh, that man, that killing instinct and and not. Uh, wanting to win every frame and not yeah. giving any opportunities. Yeah, I think that's where the top guys are mm. separated from the good guys. You know, there's yeah. a lot of good, good players out there who play a frame and construct a frame just as well as those that are better than them. Yep. But their consistency to do it um, day in, day out, frame in, frame out, shot after shot mm. is a lot better. And I think it can only come from match practice and forcing yourself to yeah. have that mentality. I don't yep. think anything else can change it. I notice myself, I, I get off to slow starts consistently. I've never, ever been a fast starter. Mm. So I struggle in all the, the money calls, race to four, race to five, race yeah. to six. That's yeah, it's, to it's, me, too, it's too short. Isn't it's it? To me, that's where I struggle the most. And it's not because I play a bad pull, just because I can't seem to pull it together that quick. Yeah. So maybe I guess it is bad pull because I can't pull it together mm. quick enough. But it's not because I play bad pull, it's just because I can't do yeah. it. For some people, so. some people like yourself may may take a little bit longer to get that that rhythm and that that feel for the match. And, yeah, and once, I, once I get the rhythm, all oh sweet. But mm. finding it, finding the rhythm for me at the start of the match is always difficult. I find because every opponent plays differently, mm. and um, a lot of the time I'm playing shots time wise. I play I play different. Um, my timing changes, I guess, per player. If that makes sense. So if someone's taking a minute per shot against me, yep. then I'm going to get to the table and I'll probably rush a little bit more to feel mm. like I've been there a bit longer. Try and get more shots on the board so that I'm feeling hot. Yep. So very much a momentum player, I guess. It's probably a downfall, but... ACT will fix it for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got to ask you, Matty. you got a got a spot this year for the Worlds to go away with Australia and turn it down. Yeah, I did. Um, Which I've done a, f a fair few times over the last probably seven or eight years. Okay. Um, well, never mind the question then. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I've just got no interest in going, mate. I don't put any time or effort into my game at all. Yep. Um, I love the game a lot. I'm still reasonably competitive. But, um, yeah, I've got other priorities. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's my, my main reason. Can't argue with that, mate. But having said that, I'll someday if I get the continue to get an opportunity, I'll um, I may take it up. I hope you do. It'll be really nice to see you go over as yeah. a. When was the last time you went? In nine, uh, two thousand and four. Okay. Last time I went. So it's a while ago. Thirteen years ago. You would have been in your forties. Yeah, mate. I was. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm playing in the Masters, mate. <laughs> I think it'd be good. So I think you. I didn't. I didn't see you back then, but um, I think you, you have quite a mature game, and that's based on only my experience playing you. And I find you're my toughest opponent. You're my toughest opponent in the ACT. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't lose it to you today. I lost to Kenny, but I find you to be the most consistent, regardless of how well or not well you're playing, because your shot selection keeps you in a lot of frames. So I'd like to. I'd like to see how that goes on the world stage. Mm. Especially if you've had a bit of practice and time to put into it, and, yeah, if you've and you're ready for it, mm. um, I'd like to see it. Yeah, yeah, no, if I got the opportunity and I did go or did choose to go, I would um, definitely put the effort in. Okay, so there's a big opportunity so here. Or he has to work out his head land on this black ball, which you can off the one in the middle. Yeah, the I think I think play the double on this yellow. And just get it in the middle of the table and push the black over towards the yellows. Because he's, he's got the safe red up the top. He doesn't need to necessarily go game right now. Yeah, but uh, knowing Jason, he is. That's all he's thinking about from here. I know, but can you, I, can I, see I don't want to open this pocket straight away. Yeah. It's not what I'm... So he's played that bad, but I think like oh he's, he's going to take the he's ball the to the centre last and to get then the black into the corner. Yeah. So he really should do it, but I see your point about leaving that security there until the end or not necessarily to the end or 
just not go in the game at that point. This is a fine yeah, shot. Yeah, so now he's now he's a bit awkward. It's actually not too bad looking at the table itself. I think mean, he can just dribble this in with a bit of bottom right and come back into the line of the ball over the hole. Mm. He only has to roll the ball in over the hole and he's got a shot at the black yeah, and that's, that's all you need is a shot. Yeah. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, that's so it'll be interesting to see if he actually tries to just drop this in or, or f screw down the rail a little bit. I think it's a bit of a risk if he tries. Actually, yeah, looking at the table, he, he can't really do that. He can only drop this in. But uh, as you said, all he, all he, that's all he needs to that's do. All he needs, needs to do. Just like quite, quite a straightforward shot in the back as well. So yeah. it's fine. He needs to back this. It's just, I'd probably play a drag shot myself with no side or anything. Yeah. Because you're playing across the nap here. Bit of a drag. He's played it well. Yeah, he's... That's a good shot. Uh, he's not going to miss his black. It's um, a lot straighter than it looks on the screen. It looks a lot worse on screen, to be honest. Just, just yeah. roll it in. Okay. All right. Race and, uh, 66. Ties it up at six all. And it's his break as well. So Jace has got, Jace got off to a big break and he's he's gone yellow is nice and quick. Hasn't looked at his butt, man. But the sa same, as not same as Kenny, he's just got down. He just has not looked. I don't like it. He needs to take a ball on the rail now. Unless he's going to play the one over the corner and try and promote them. If yeah. he doesn't do that, but these three that he's shooting towards now link. They link up now, he's got nothing. Yeah, no, he's, he's in the middle of nowhere now. He needs to play the one on the rail there. Because you, you play it down the rail, you miss, you got the hole, and you land on your other dead one. It's mm. only dead because it's closed off by the red ball. So mm. I think he'll actually he'll go the one in the the yellow in the middle of the table to the left hand corner if, if it's on. I don't think he will. I'm not sure if it's on though. I think he's. I think he needs to find a way to promote these two on the side rail and leave nothing. Mm. Well so he take could the one he in could the just centre. He could just drop this in and then drop cut. This in and play the cut and yeah. then cut the the be, right hand uh, yellow down in the corner. Shot right. I can't say, so Brett, what are you going to do? I don't like it, even if it goes in. Yeah, he's run too far. I don't like it. It would have been the same result, I guess, if, if you did go yeah. one. Yeah. Into the yeah, the shot, two the shots ago, there. the shot was to play the ball down the rail. and yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially why Kenny's got the, the balls on the rail. He's going to play right. it down the rail up and down now. It's even bigger. It's a good shot. He's played it well, but... Played it well, but how much closer would you have got it if you were shooting straight at it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You can see where you're hitting. Who's the who's your toughest opponent? Who do you find the hardest to beat in your life? Uh, oh, it's, it's hard to pinpoint one. Um, there's a lot of because I've been playing for a long time. I've played against a lot of good players consistently over many years, um, and I've I've beaten some of these top players, but. Um, I've obviously had a battle with Woodsy in ACT for for a long time. Obviously, he doesn't play in the ACT trials anymore, so I haven't had that that a a battle at that level for a while. Yep. Um, but he obviously still plays in ACT, and he um, played in the um, Canberra Elite Pool last yep. weekend. And uh, yeah, he's he's obviously a, a very hard player to beat. Um, I've played him probably about four or five times in the last year. Um, 
and I've pushed him a few times. But yeah, he's, he's definitely one of the players that yeah I struggle to beat, and he's um he's definitely a hard player to beat. He's played mm. for the match at six all. I don't yeah, it's where that where that mindset comes from. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not like he's been yeah, here yeah. on the tables. Why? So why only now? Mm. You know? Yeah. Saving something not there almost. Yeah, it's it's a, I guess an interesting con concept of at six all. They're starting to look at it, the strategic side of the games where yeah. there's n yeah. there's no reason why you can't be doing that yeah, at, right. at one all. Exactly. So yeah, trying to save frames. Each, each, each frame counts. So from from Kenny's point of view as well, he was six four up, so he's trying to stop the rot from Jason now, winning two in a row, trying to find a way to peg Jason back now and get back on top. So he's trying to save the frames. I think where mm. he can, take control where he can, so he feels mm. you know, less. If you're in control of the frame, you got a ball over the hole and and you're leaving good white. It's less nervous when you get to the table. Yeah, that's right. You feel more in control mm. of what's actually happening. So. Mm. So, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy Maguire from Tassie's uh, predicted a 10-all uh, thriller. Who's Jeremy Maguire? I know he's uh, some big guy, big guy from Tassie. Jeremy, can you please send me a picture? I need to see who you are. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy will actually be be down here in four weeks' time for the King's Cup. I really hope so. I haven't entered that. I should. Oh, he's throwing the shoulder. He's throwing the shoulder. Jeremy, did you see a shoulder throw? Come on, mate. I know you're listening. And uh, Shane Smith also noticed about an hour ago that the mic wasn't on when you, you joined the stream, mate. Ah, who's Shane Smith as well? Little Tip. Ah, Little Tip. Big Smith, Little Tip. Yep. That's the one. Well, he's he's that actually had a red hot crack at that. That was a frame winning yeah. shot for, for Jace. Yeah. And, and what was... Okay, he missed, but it was good to see him commit committed to it fully. He didn't commit to one or the other, yeah, blocking the whole... He didn't just roll it. He committed to that, and I think that's a good thing. It's, mm. a, good, it's a good mentality to have at six all. So can you uh, go on the out from here? Ye I think you will go for it. So I'll rephrase that question. Do you think you will get the out from there? No. no. This can depend on how he takes them. Um, there's, a, there's a bit of awkward linking up with the one up the top left mm -hmm. and this one that he's shooting at now over the centre with the one down to the corner and the one that... He's closest to the yellow. He's shooting at the one at the yellow now, but it can be a little bit awkward. I'll put it this way. If he clears these three at the bottom and lands flush, then mm. yes. Well, he needs to land flush on those top two. He might even play up to them now. I think he'll come up. Come I up don't like that because you don't want to split these two on the rail. You want to use the balls in the middle of them to link up. So he needs to play this down here now. He needs to come off the rail and leave himself underneath the ball to the centre so he can run up in the line of his other ball on the rail. It's not on the rail, it's off the rail, but he needs That's to get up towards, towards the rail. He, wa he wants to go towards that ball, not away from it, so he needs to land under this one. Straight straight leaves a pressure yeah. shot. No, he's landed pretty well there. Yes. Stop he, he can actually run through. Yeah, Run through like right behind that, that red. Yeah, he's going ahead and out there. He's, yeah. he's played it well, so he needs to stun this in. You don't want to be straight on this last red. I think you want a little bit of angle so you can get down to your black. You yeah. want a you want a good black ball. Yeah, at six each, I think. You don't want to leave the long ones. So you run through this a little bit to leave that angle, or I'd stun. Yeah, I'd yeah, stun so down so I could screw back onto it. So I don't want to use the. I don't want to use rails there if I can help yeah, it. He's going to screw off the, I think the side screw rail. I don't think you, you need to. Yeah, I think I think he's just he's screw straight down and take it into the centre. I think it's just straight good. screw. We we'll take it to the corner, even yeah. better. He's proved us wrong. How simple was that? Mm. 
I feel, so like, I feel, like, I feel like a I, dummy. I swear he, he had an away angle there yeah. from the black and had to screw off the side rail and back up. Maybe we should tell the viewers at home that neither of us actually know what we're talking about <laughs> right about now. <laughs> They've probably worked it out. <laughs> and Kenny pumps that in for a... Is he doing that for a reason? I actually noticed he did that against me today, um, Jack. Yeah. Me? You know, I, I a reasonably easy black and you I, um, gave it a bit of effort. To I did, and I'm glad you noticed that. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah I don't think you do it for no reason. No. Nah. You've done it, I'm sure. Yeah, I have. Yeah, and it's I just to send I a message. I that's, that's all. What, that's what Kenny's has done then. Just sends a message. Yeah. Just queue through the centre of the ball. Yeah. You know, you're not going to miss it. So mm. why not? Why not play it with a bit of authority and confidence, and send your opponent a bit of a message and go, yeah. right, I'm here to take this down, and I'm here to yeah. prove to you that I, I'm, I'm going to win. You know. I tried to do it to Kenny, but it failed because he came back and beat me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be a little bit embarrassing if you tried to do it and actually miss the pot. It would be, but I didn't miss the pot, so, yeah. so it worked. But Kenny actually leave me a black ball over the hole in the very first frame and I didn't even get down on it. So Jez is getting a bit of insight into my information on Kenny here because uh, okay. they've got a, a match up at the King's Cup which Kenny told me about. Oh, so interesting. They're playing for a few dollars. On uh, yeah, well we haven't we haven't actually done the the schedule for the the it's money actually, matches it's yet. It's actually a good match up, I think. Yeah, it will be. I think so. I think the person who wins that is a person who's put in the best preparation for the actual money match, not for the tournament, but for the money match because money match is a different mindset. Yeah. So Kenny doesn't play bad for money. Um, and he's strong to 11. Really strong. Yeah, he is. But Jeremy's very smart as well, tactically. I shouldn't say this. I don't want to tell him that. But <laughs> I've seen him play there's, there's, no point wi- there's no point whispering in my ear, Jack, when you've got the microphone on your mouth. <laughs> I have seen Jeremy play some good tactical frames. Just saying. Yeah, so I had a good battle against Jeremy at the... Uh, Last 16 in the Nationals. I think it was an 8-7 result to, to Jeremy. We've got to keep him away from the ACT by the sounds of it, mate. Mm. But we did have Kenny with us last year, so maybe this year we'll be a bit more on form with Kenny. We'll maybe. see. So these two are actually in the state team now, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So that's, yeah, we that's a great result for ACT. We actually. talked about that before. So, And yeah, the par- part of the purpose of changing the format of the singles and, and the trials is... Is to produce the the, the best state team. team. Yeah, not not saying that we we haven't had the best team before, and the players that do make it aren't that uh, aren't deservant of it. Um, but sometimes, for various reasons, uh, we don't send away our, our best team. Obviously, being in ACT this year, um, I think most of the top players, if they have the opportunity, they'll play because that's obviously quite convenient. Yeah, but um, but yeah, it'll be good to see a, a really strong ACT side this year. I'd like to see us go to make some finals. Yeah, finals mate. footy, mate. Get in the top oh. eight. Rep, rep the G. Why not? Yes, yeah, so it'll be nice, mate. It'll be a very, a very good achievement if we can get there. We've gone close a few times, but just never quite got there. So, from the outside looking in, as a, as a decent player yourself, what is ACT... As a general and as a whole playing group, mm-hmm. every member, not just 10 or 20, what is the one thing that you think stands out the most that needs to be improved in the ACT? Oh, sorry, Kenny, it's got a massive kick. Um, well, I think I think it's our... Well, we've got a, a reasonably small association, so yep. um, the, the depth in the association's um, got a little bit to do with it. But obviously, um, the one thing that we need to do, um, I think we need to get more players to travelling to to these events. Yep. Um, um, even myself personally, I, I don't travel to enough of them. I know if I did, that's when I'm going to start playing well. Last year, I played pretty well, but I went to to three or four of the major events. But I think that's what we need. So Kenny just got a massive kick, but I don't know how much it's going to affect him. I think that red actually goes 
inside the, the th- corner. Inside the three. If it doesn't go inside of them, it goes off, off the it, yeah. two that are close together. So it goes off the inside one of those. So the, blacks, so the blacks are trouble. The blacks tied up. Mm. So if he can land under this and get the black out now, but he has to land under it, get the black out, and land on the other end. With position mm. to land back on the black. So it's a bit tough. So he's actually trying to move the black now. So do you think there's any kind of... Um, do you think any changes to how how the league nights are played and things like that. Do you think any changes there could help the situation at all? Um, um, How do you find well Wednesday night formats? I, I myself got upset with it last week and chucked a little nanny. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, to, to be honest, there's um, in, in first division, which is m- most players that can make the state team are in first division, uh, there's, there's probably three, maybe four teams that are going to make that final series every every year every year or every season every yeah. season um, so it's only y- you're not playing it with no offence or disrespect to any of the of the teams you're, you're not playing those top teams week in week out so do we need a super league of some sort I'm not sure if that's going to give us um, more competitiveness I'm not sure yep I, I think the point system should be introduced and um, and a big a big uh, part of that for me would be um, a point system in, in a way that so the teams couldn't you couldn't have nine on a side you have an amount and a, and one emergency only mm. um, so if you play if you play six players and I think what needs to happen on a Wednesday night is everyone plays everyone we're finished by nine thirty ten o'clock most nights which mm. is quite early for a pool association most others that I've ever played in have finished a bit later they get a cut off at eleven o'clock or eleven thirty. Um, so I think that that could help a bit, and I think with the point system where you wouldn't be able to stack a side to an extent of having hundred thousand state players in. I know for myself, like our side, the Hammerheads, we've got um, probably five, six of us are actually state, mm. almost Australian reps. You know, probably yeah. three. There's actually three Australian reps in one side in such a small association. Mm. I think for players to improve, it would it would probably help to separate those guys a little bit so that the um, the knowledge gets spread out, mm. if that makes sense. Yeah, no, that's a... That could be an option. Um, oh, there's some teams that, that have been around for for many, many years. And, the and, and the they farmers ring a bell, actually. Yeah, and we have got... <laughs> 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 we've got a, a few Australian players on our side, but, um, yeah, we weren't Australian players when we started playing, basically. No, that's, that's how long we've been together for. Yeah. Not um, it's no disrespect to any size, and like I said, I've just I've just walked away from a side that's in almost the same situation. We've been put together on purpose, and you know we're extremely strong as individual players, and we're just starting to click now as a team, and it could be very dangerous for mm. you know we could. I don't see. Uh, or I think I we could win a lot of premierships together. Yeah, you know, and it's no different to your side, you know. But I feel like as an association and as improving the league and ACT as a whole and as a state, I feel like it would be better to separate those players and, and the networking would become larger, if that makes sense. That's a great so shot there by Jason. Good, good networking, Jason. You really mm. drift that wide around. So yeah, we probably should get back to the pool. Sorry, <laughs> Talk back radio with Jack. Yeah. <laughs> get on it. That's a good shot. That's uh, a, a great effort. This is there by Jace. Yeah, that's a good finish. It is. So we tie it. Oh, just Jace ties it, it up at 7 all uh, with his break as well. So Jeremy might, might be right here, might be a, a 10 all uh, decider. Uh, it's looking very close. They actually didn't split very well, but a ball come off the off the back rail and came back into him. And he's going to choose reds here, obviously. Um, only if you can see the one at the top yeah. corner. Can you see that? Yeah. I think so. But he hasn't really got a yellow. 
Yeah, I know. You could take the yellow into the centre and bring the white ball down mm. table for a safer white. He's gone the reds. Never mind. Oh, yeah, sorry. You're, you're looking at the actual table. I'm looking at the screen. I can yeah, see that I was on. It just had to yeah. be different. Typical. Standard Jack. So Jace has sped right up here and he's... Yeah, he's taking him quick. He's and ended, uh, uh, he's ended pretty good there. He's going to screw back down the table. He's going to come across those three balls in the middle there. He's got the click going. If he's got the click going. He's concentrating, I've noticed. Bit of a Jake McCartney click, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the old... We'll be doing the whole <coughs> soon. Mm, probably. Pretend cough. Kenny's got a bit of that that happening sometimes. The McCartney cough. Yeah, the McCartney <laughs> cough. <laughs> it goes. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, it's a bit stiff. The results a little bit stiff. So a fellow uh, Queenslander here, Sterlow's um, predicted uh, JT to win 11-10. That's my man, Sterlow. Good, uh, good to see you watching, Sterlow. Hope you're coming down for the Kings Cup, mate. You travelled, made the travel last year, so be good to see you here again this year. Uh, Jason And Jason's has just got a result. He hasn't, because he's left him dead straight. So Kenny's even said it himself. He left it almost straight. Doesn't matter. Kenny's gonna knock this in, and he's gonna he's gonna go for aim. <laughs> oh, a bit of a result there for Jason. Actually, Kenny's muffed it himself there. So no, I think it's still like this. Yeah, he's still on, but the white ball's gonna be travelling around. And he doesn't. Oh, I can't imagine you want it to be. Oh, so he's, he's just gone to safety, safe roll up. He's, he's left Jason. He's left him on the double. Don't even, no, I don't think the double's on. The cut's on here and you can promote your red. So I'm not sure if Ken, uh, no, Kenny's got the angle here to screw into the either screw straight back or screw into the into the, the balls. He's 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 okay. He's got it's the one. Caught uh, red first, which is a bit. You want to come to you want to yellow, yellow first. first yeah, yeah and he would have landed straight behind the yellow. Black first. You're gonna end up very well, man. He's got a. If he misses this, he'll take control of the pocket. But it's gonna say he doesn't want to slide it behind that red. It's yeah. a good shot. It's a good shot. And the black's on to the middle. It's not on to the middle yet. He's looking at that now. What? A little better. Yeah, sorry. Thank you, Kath. That was a while ago, mate. Oh. I don't know if she's still watching. <laughs> Never mind, Kath. Alright, good shot, Kenny. Mm -hmm. Kenny to take an 8-7 lead by the first shot. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Snailed it. It's all good, Kenny. 87. Another swift score update from the ACT live. Pro something. ACC Opal Lock. It's not actually a mouthful, I've just never said it before, so I haven't <laughs> got it down pat yet. Are you listening to us, Mom?
<laughs> so it looks like we're having a bit of a, His a bathroom break. Sorry, break. mate. It's, it's after break. it's after eight pm. Bathroom break. The, the PG sorry, I'm PG sorry. ratings. Sorry. Uh, we're, we're in the M now. My kids are at home listening. They've probably heard it before. So I'm not <laughs> too stressed. A little bit of a shout out actually to Long Dang, a fellow who doesn't get much mention here in the ACT. He's gone uh, above and beyond, creating new games here and there, running leagues, not just one but three. He's got the nine ball going. He's got the eight ball threes, and he was running. He was running something at Moosehead as well, I think, for a while, which is a local a local pub here. So it's good to see one individual sticking in a whole bunch of effort of his own time and plugging the game for no reward. Just enjoying it for himself, so good on you, Long. You didn't have to invite Woodsy to the nine ball, though. You could have left him out. Just saying. Anyway, back to the pool here. We've been talking nine ball with Long. Mm. And uh, Kathy's still here, mate. So oh, okay. She's waiting for me to get home. I don't think Matt's actually coming home, to be, <laughs> to be honest. We've actually made other plans, Kath. I'm really sorry, but... Uh, some spots open in um, industrial side of town that may make way to after the match. You're a naughty boy, Jack. <laughs> Always got your mind in the gutter. Oh, this is the industrial side of town. Where's your mind? <laughs> That's right. You work in industrial. Oh no, actually, you don't anymore, do you? No, I don't. No. Uh. Actually, our uh, our workshop is across the road from my old workshop. Oh yeah. So. That's how I got onto him, actually. That's a foul. That's um, two shots, I think. That's a very thoughtless shot, to be honest. That um, it's more of the score. Right? I needed to really think that out. Really think about, especially with a couple of dead balls. It's passed over as well. So. Oh wow! Okay. You still got a fair bit of work to do, Jace. This one first. Oh, I think he has to. He has to get it out of the way. Run it down. Mm. If it goes in, he's got two shots a good game. If it doesn't go in, he's got a bit of control down there he's to work with. Missed it. Only just. So we can build on that though. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a pocket blocked something to build on. Typical crumb grabber over here. But uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> what do you think of Rusty's? Uh, Analogies of the the three three categories of he's actually players. Spot on. He's pretty good. It's actually, pretty made, close, it's actually it? yeah. made me think about my own game. To yeah. be honest. Yeah. Yeah. But who is Rusty? <laughs> that uh, that ranger from up your way, mate. Oh, my way. I'm from Victoria. I only I moved here from Queensland, but I'm born and raised in Victoria, Matty. Ah, oh, that explains a few things. Well, like what? <laughs> <laughs> the crumb grabbing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, crumb grabber. Nick Howie special. <laughs> He's a good crumb grabber. Uh. Wow, Kenny's gone for a oh, massive double and he's somehow come up with a... No, oh no, it's not Chase a trigger. He's got a, he's, he's got a shot here at this bottom corner. Jason can go game. Shot. Oh, oh. oh wow. He's probably stiffer than a honeymooner oh. if that's what he went for. I've never seen Jace jump that that high. Nah, not on the pool table. You haven't seen him dance. <laughs> yes, I have. It's the um, when that bass drop comes in. Oh. He landed flush on this to screw into it. You missed the uh, the 
Aubrey National, uh, at Aubrey Nationals after presentation night. <laughs> So Jace is going to play this one and try to. He I think to to he's going to get into the yellow now. He, has yeah. to. he needs to. I think. He, I think the shot is to screw into it, and then you want to hit yellow first, and then contact the black because yeah. the black will hold the white. If you play black first. You're coming across the yellow, and which you don't think you want. And if he hits the yellow full, he's going to be in a bit of strife. I think. Yeah. Because he won't. Yeah. He won't land on anything. He won't. I think you want to get that red to the rail as well. If yeah. you can, if you can control the pace well enough, why not? So half wall into the yellow, white hit the black. It's red really to the hard rail. to screw into it using the the bridge. Not hard enough. He actually hasn't taken his time on that. He's just sort of rushed that. And you, you know when Jason rushes a shot because he compliments himself on the rushing. That's a great shot. It's very sarcastic when he gets down on himself a little bit. Mm. He's actually can get not in a bad here? position here. He can, get a, he can get a snooker. It'd be a really good snooker too. Um, push that red to the rail so the red touches and leave the white knuckled up in between the yellow and black. No, Yeah, like that, but probably yeah. could have been tighter. Yeah, it's a good shot. He can come up and down. He's got a few balls to, to hit, but um, awkward bridge. A little bit easier being left handed though. Oh, it's a good shot. Didn't have much choice. He had to go for he had to hit his ball. Um, it's just a matter of now if Jason can punch this in and it's fairly straight too. Like I'm, I'm standing, yeah. I'm sitting right beside the, right behind he, the shot. He's just missed punch the, it in. He's missed a fair few long shots like this, so I'm backing him to knock this in. I think he needs to. He's oh played he's good pace. It. That's yeah. a good shot. Good shot. Yeah, he might have snooking. No, nah, he's landed all right. He's all right here actually. You know, roll this one into the center, and you've got a bit of an angle on your one on the last yellow to the corner, but you want the angle because you wipe all or run round two rails for the black into the same corner. I was, too slow. I was just going to swap screens because George showed me how to do that before. But oh, show me. <laughs> I'm not showing you. Show me. There you look. Yeah, there it is. The two rails, black in the corner. I'm clicking on the scroll button. Eight each. Yeah, good shot. Only three, three more wins for one of these players. 88. To two, fat ladies, first two fat ladies. Two fat ladies. It's an 88. So Jace has got a massive break and come up dry. So reds are actually all pretty open at the moment. I'll take this one over the hole first and come okay, up for so the red Kenny's closest to where the Kenny's cherry, pick, now. cherry picking. Yeah, he's got not many options there, but he's come right up the table. I'm not sure if he actually meant to do that, but he's he's got a bit a bit of a result. I'm gonna say he didn't mean to do it. You don't intentionally cannon a ball down the table, half ball to land on it. No, so it wasn't but intentional, I, but, but I he did get a result. I think he was just actually trying to come up for the 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 red that's at the furthest end of the table, and he's just way overhit it. Oh God. Definitely got a good result, but definitely didn't mean to land there. No. Definitely not. Okay. We agree. We've agreed. We've definitely agreed. agreed. So 
that's pretty awkward from here. I don't know if he's, he's going to try to move the red that's behind the yellow. I think he's got the angle to do that. I think so. I can turn the mic off. So I'm going to ask Paulie a question. Well, I was about to compliment the music maker, but he didn't admit it was him, so never mind. Mm. I don't see the value in uh, hitting it that hard. Look where it, look where it landed. Even, well, even if he potted it, he would have got much better. But you could have got it there softly. Mm. So, and he could have had control of the pocket. Pro crumb grabbing right there. That's a great shot, Jason. Yeah. Tanaka Vic. Tanaka Tubby on track. So that could be the, the frame when he shot that one. But he needs to get up top and get. Oh, he doesn't actually have to get up there straight away. He can no, leave it to the last. Yeah, yeah. The, the black's up there, so. Yeah. You need a plan to get up there, though. You can't just pull yeah. it out of your ass and, and yeah, get so there. You need to make a plan now to get up there. You See, I don't even know if he, yeah. he has. I don't. I think he's, he's just focused on a few balls in front of him. The way he's going at the moment, it'll be the ball over the hole that gets in there. Mm. Straight up the rail. But again, he's going to be crossing the line to get on that ball. Uh, that last ball. Yes, but if he if he lands sort of where the wide is now, he can play with the top left mm. to use the side rail to come into the line. You definitely don't want to use the ball over the hole for it. Yeah, it looks like he is, actually. Yeah, he's gonna I don't like that. Right, there it is. That's a nice shot. That's there, a nice shot there. So we're right behind this one. Good camera angle. Yeah. Another straight one. Good, good camera swap there. There, Jack. That is. Yeah, well done, Matty. Nice out. Nine Call eight that nine eight. Well done. And um, getting down to the business end here, Jason's looking a bit, a little bit stronger potting the balls. Yeah, I think well Kenny's still tactically a little stronger, but mm. Jason's making the pots, and that's what you like. Mm. Really, that's what you need to do. So, yeah, I think we always thought it was going to be a close match, and um, might still coming down to the wire. Well, it is coming down to the wire, but <laughs> might be a hill hill match. Messy break though. It's a big break, but no result. I think any takes uh, those. So now, for example, at nine eight, he'll remember this break where he didn't get a ball, but he gets the ones that he did get during during the match. We've got many viewers online from ACT, Matty. I'm not sure if we can actually tell that or not. 
there's 48 people watching, yeah, apparently. We've got 43 viewers. Eight. 48, mate, I said. 40, what, 43. 43 on my screen. Oh, sorry. Well, I see 43. There's been a okay. there's been a good suggestion of um, Jack and Matt Talkback Radio as well. So pick a subject, guys. <laughs> pick a subject. Put it through the text line right now, and and we will do that subject as a Talkback station for the next frame. Test the waters. Not building, please, because I'm not a builder. But we should really focus on the frame. We should. It's not what Talkback Radio is about, Maddie. No. That's not. Somebody must have suggested oh, question, that. Question to the folks watching. Who's the best pocket blocker in ACT? Give me a pocket blocking suggestion. Who's the best pocket blocker? <laughs> I want to see. I want to see the message line lit up with pocket blocking suggestions. Who's the best? I like your comments, Stan, Stan Dog. We d- we definitely can't have a left hander winning a state title. Oh. <laughs> Actually, it makes me want to go with Kenny a little bit. Because <laughs> I'm a left hander. Stanley, what are you I, talking I think, about? I think that's why. Stanley's a smart bloke. I think that's why he's suggesting it. Because he realises you're commentating oh. and you're left handed. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Stanley. As long as he's not watching me through Centrelink, we're sweet. <laughs> he actually works for Centrelink. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he knows I'm left-handed and I know where he works. Call it even, Stanley. Back to the pocket block and who's the best pocket blocker, Stanley? Phil Morton, apparently. You reckon? He's a good pocket blocker, actually. He's a good pocket blocker. Colin can't talk. I've seen him pocket block it. Pocket block it. Yeah, block it. Block it. That's just when he misses a pot. Oh, oh. they've lost the voice. They've dropped out. They can't hear us apparently. <laughs> Tolly and Jed. Yeah. Kenny's dumped the white there. It's gone in off. Jason's got two shots here. Um, it's not good for Kenny actually. He might go yeah, down ten eight here. It's a good, two good opportunity to get to ten. Get to the hill first. That's where you want to be. Get into the hill with two frames buffer is a a massive advantage. Can and we call it the Michael instead of the hill? He's getting the to the Michael. Yeah. He's getting to the Mick. The Mick Hill. He's getting to the Mick Hill. He's getting yeah. to the Mick. I'm sure that's been suggested, right? Yeah. <coughs> oh, it's a great, it's a good shot. A great shot, Jace. It's a good shot. That's a confident shot. It mm. is. He's, he's taking it. Now. He's got to go this long one. Yeah, I agree. And um, does he just? Come back a little bit and then go the one over the hole. I can't see the angle really well. You can look at it here, mate. Yeah. I think if he can, uh, if he can screw back to take this one under the black next, perfect. Yeah, he has to play it anyway. Yeah, I didn't think he would. He didn't have a good angle though. He would have come back into the black, I think. So I think That's this next going. angle is going to be good to see whether he lands on his next ball. So we'll switch over to that. So he's uh, come up there beautifully. It's a bit short. He's a little bit, bit short. short. It's actually a good camera angle to film. See a lot, yeah. a lot of the tail. I just uh, noticed... That's a good shot. Just play the dial. I like that shot. I noticed Jace has got a bit of uh, something else in common with Mr McCartney. Yeah, a little That's bit of a, a, a Devon patch going off on, on the top of the head. It's going to be on top. Did it's you notice big that? Big head, big head too. Fair head. A little bit of a heli helipad. Oh, oh he's not, he's gone well done. Yes. That's a great, great finish from Jason. And he, uh, he's on eight. the hill, ten eight. 
So at this stage, Matty, I well, yeah, I'm going to be captain, obvious, but I think Jack, he's not home. Obviously, he needs to get another frame. But I mean, it's pretty ominous for him mm. to get three frames in a row, and I don't think there's been three frames ran in a row in the frame in the match so far. No, I don't think so. So it's got to be something yeah. unprecedented in this particular match to get on top. And J- Jace is full of confidence. This he's got to be sensible about it as well. Like. Uh, yeah, he knows it too. He's, he's taking his time here, cleaning the white, doing all the right mm. stuff. He wants a big break. I think you need you take it hard, go for it. He has to. He's got a ball. A, got a red straight That's in the middle. Clean. And look take at you now twenty seconds, not thirty, to yeah, so um, you work you out you what you're going to do. Your options here with the balls. I think. Um, I think. <laughs> Like y- yeah, reds are the balls, I think. Um, just taking the reds. Yeah, but where's he going to after this? Uh, just down to this corner. Yeah, that's, that's right. a great shot. So they're all there now. I think um, he plays this one next to the red, uh, next to the black, sorry. Yep. And then he's got a... So you see it there, it's nice and straight on it. Can you just go yeah, back to that angle for a second? Oh yeah. Start it in and, and just hold for the white. Doesn't have to do anything. Yeah, and then really he can, then he can play the the red into left hand yeah. middle yeah. and move exactly. the red and in the middle. Out of two. And then it, and he's got it. So you go back to there. You can see it now really clear. So he wants to hit this. So might pretty even, firm and he might and even screw and full. Into this. Oh, just roll it in, Matty. Yeah, no. Nah. Didn't to, like it. Didn't yeah, like it. He had to screw into that. Does it go to the corner? I don't think it does. Uh, I think it does. I think it does. Has he got an angle on this? Yeah, no, no, he's got, too, he's got too much angle to screw back into it. The one to the left of the two punched up goes to the corner, so he needs to do some forcing here if he's going to take the top one. I think he can play the one to the corner now, to be honest. You see, sometimes they lesson learned. Oh, he's on the town on it. You know yeah. what? He's got a shot, and one I'd big be shot. happy to take a shot here. Would you go the left hand red? Um, no, I'll take the one on the right. Where you put oh, the where you, yeah, where you, put, where you yeah, put the last red? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. One on the left. Roll yep. it up. Take the other one to the center. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. That's why we commentate together because I learn from you. <laughs> oh, he's going. Is he going? My one or your one? Yeah, he's going yours. Oh, he's going mine. Oh, he's going yours. Yeah. See, if he went yours, it would have been the right shot. Yeah. Uh, You just got a small case there of you know, feeling like you had to finish it then and there. Yeah. He didn't have to. He's not out of the frame though, especially in the because he's got the score advantage and mm. you know, it's put the pressure on Kenny, so he's got a he's got a slight yeah. advantage still, I think. Kenny's got to yeah. play a few good shots. He's played one. Wow, good shot. That's a Sturlo special that one. Mm. I've seen Sturlo play that shot mm. five times. All every single time I've seen you play, they've been at North's Clubhouse in Queensland. So, shot. Next time you see Sterlo, ask him what a, a McPaddy is. <laughs> he tried to order one from McDonald's once, but <laughs> McPaddy. <laughs> yeah. And the um. The lady serving him had a little bit of um, trouble understanding the order. What was he meaning? What was the meaning of the patty? Uh, none of us knew. Yeah, what did he think it was? No one knew. No one found out. Did he get his burger? What was his burger? A patty. I'm Eric Stein, so if you hear me laughing and not talking, that's why. So Jace is... Uh, he's got a chance here. In a, oh, he's in a bit of an uphill battle, I think. He's yeah, but he's got a chance. 
That's all you can ask for in this situation. Can yeah. he see to the top left corner? Mm, no, I don't think he's hit enough of it. No. I think, I think he oh, yes, he, he has. Can. Just looked at the table and he... I don't know if it actually goes inside the, the yellow, but he can definitely get over the hole. <laughs> Sorry, my uh, co-commentator Scott, uh, um, the case of the giggles. It's Matthew's fault for telling me a story about Stilo and his McPaddy. That was a pretty good shot by Jace there. He, a little bit firmer to get the, the red over the hole would have been ideal, but... I think he made a good choice in the shot, though. The yeah, shot it was a... It was a was good. Wasn't trying for too much, just... <coughs> Having said that, Kenny's really has got a good opportunity to take this frame. Absolutely. There's no reason why he shouldn't either. Just gonna run through off a couple of rails and then go up the long yellow next to the next to the red into the corner. Yeah, he's cute that. Yeah, that's a good off. shot. That's a great shot. So he's landed absolutely perfect on that. Do you run through on this one, then go the yellow in the middle? Yeah, then I think you'll take one to the centre. And then the um, near the yellow left towards left hand corner. Maybe if you take the one in the centre, get the one at the very bottom of the table, so you don't have to play a jackie. Yeah. If you can get rid of that now and land in position, then perfect, because you don't, don't want to play jackie to an eight down. Yeah. So I think you can get rid of that now. Two rails back out for yeah, the nice. for the one in the close to the black on the right hand do side. You try, do you try to get position on the the right hand yellow now? Into the no, I'd, I'd, I'd yeah, play, yeah, the one play for both balls. Yeah, the one closest to the black. Yeah, I'd play for that now. Two rails. Yeah, I always played a bit firm, please, but please no, it's, 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 okay. it's okay. Look, it's still there. The out's still there. It's a couple of roll-ins, but I think if you put the effort there in for your position, while there's less pressure on the shot mm. because you've got more balls to land on, you put the effort in there so that you give yourself more opportunity at making the out easier later on in mm. the piece. So these balls don't really link now. Oh, he's looking at getting really straight on the one in the middle to screw across. Play the one down the corner and then play the one that the white is closest to yeah, second. And then roll it. Uh, yeah, roll, roll. Roll, roll the, the last yellow in. On the or back. if he plays the other one to the centre, the one on the left, you could roll up table and have a straight yellow. I think he's worried if he goes the one on the right hand side. Yeah, he's got a little he bit of a, a he he's got a little bit of a cut on the one on the left hand side, and he's. No. But all, all it means is he's just going to pop the Not the black in the middle instead of the corner. That's all it means. Matty, if you were practicing playing this shot, oh, yeah, it's so yeah, that's I right. Think you, you play that, it in my eyes, there's only one option. Like you, you sort of soft screw the ball so it's the white, so it stays yeah. stays still after the pot, and roll it in, roll the black in, as he's done. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. That yeah. way of going, he's obviously sneaking himself. No, he's looking at that face. Yeah, see, he's trying to get too straight on it. He's because he, he wanted to play the black into the corner just by rolling this in. So but I actually think he's okay, even yeah. with his face. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a good shot. It's <laughs> a good shot. It's a pressure black on the hill. Yeah. Well, when your opponent's on the hill, sorry. It's an easy black to overcut under the pump, actually. Played it well. Yeah, well done. 9-8. 10-8. 10-8, sorry. Nine. We're having a shock here, yet. 10-9. Long. Is there a message on there from Sterlo? About what a McPaddy is? No, uh, I think he's gone to bed, I think, mate. Uh, <laughs> Spewing. So we've got 54 viewers now. It's pretty decent, actually. I'm happy with that. It's yeah, good. it's a good effort. 
you reckon you can flip, flick back over to the other view, please, uh, <laughs> Jack? Break on. Suspense, the suspense. So Kenny's got a good break there. I think he's just nominated Reds. When tomorrow comes. When tomorrow comes. Is he nominated Reds? Yep. Yeah, I think so. He's Taking the ball over the hole first. Mm. Yep. Straight in. Ball over the centre. It's a bit of Lincoln to do here. Yeah. It's not as easy as it. It's not as easy as it may seem. Straight up. I think he's got the angle just to run down. I don't see how I can go wrong really. To the looking at, if you look yeah. on the screen onto the table, it's the balls are quite spread out. So he's going to do the one more straight on this one. See if he's landed straight. Go over to this angle there. Yeah, it's got a little bit of angle. Great. So a bit of work. So he's digging into it. So he's going to go the one on the right hand rail next. Yeah. So over there. And we can see that. So if he pots this, he's looking all right, but it's still got. As you said, a it's bit a of linking bit of to do. Yeah, it's linking. It's all linking. All the balls are on. It's just a matter of getting on them. Mm. No. Well, JT's out of his seat quick. Yeah. And um, I don't blame him. Let's have a look over here, what he's looking at. And um, he's got the cut over into the corner. The yellow that he's closest to, Matty, goes to the corner that um, Kenny just played his shot to. So mm -hmm. his balls aren't so too far away from his balls aren't too far away from being in good position. Mm -hmm. Two probably two good shots to to get rid of the bad ones, and um, should be should be good. So if he if he cuts the uh, the first yellow on the left hand side, he's got to play it a bit firmer, I think, to. Make sure he lands all right. Yeah, no, he's played that well. I think that Jackie's on the centre. He looked at that. Very even. It does look on, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a bit hard to tell from here. <laughs> yeah, looking at the table, yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's got under it now, so he can play it. So he knows he needs to get under it, and he, that's what he's played for, looking at it. Mm. Definitely. It's a good shot. Yeah, he's played up at the corner. So a couple of... Couple of good shots here from Jason, and could be his. but um, but there's a couple of good shots to go. There's two good shots. So there's a bit of work. Does he go? There's the a bit of move in the white actually. Does he go the right hand yellow now? Um, could do. Yeah, mm. there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Because otherwise he's got to go across the table for his last two balls. Uh, you know, what? I'd, I'd probably I'd probably leave it. I'll probably play the one up the top now. And then leave myself the angle to come <coughs> across the rail in between the black and the other red. Mm. So if we go over to the other camera angle, you see the the red that he's bridging over now. If he comes between the black and that red, mm. then he he'll land he'll land good. So that's what I think. Maybe we'll keep it here and and just have a look if he if he plays that shot. Um, he, he only has to land straight, and the black ball is in the centre pocket. So it's one good shot here from Jason. Probably play it with a bit of top left. Of it. Yeah. He's going to have that one down the rail, I think. I don't like that. He's going <laughs> to no, have to play the double now. Wow. Well, he's pumped oh. it in. Good pot. So, he's got so probably see it. The middle. definitely see it better from there. But Whether it's going to go in. Uh, it's, it's hard how's it how's control, on the black? So yeah. I don't think he's stressed about that right now. He wants to just get the ball in the hole. I think he just wants to give it a little tappy. Mm. Tap, 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 <laughs> <laughs> to his home.
We could pop down the rail actually, pump that in. Oh, oh he had a crack at it. He did. He's got a bit of a result there actually, so. Bit of a result. Look at that. Yeah, he's going to get pumped through the snooker there. But easy, well, easy to get out of though. Yeah. You be careful laying these snookers, I reckon. Yeah. So Kenny actually made two of these shots against me. Yeah. yeah. He potted a black ball and then potted his yellow. As well, to win both frames. Wow. So it's a big result. All he's got to do is pot this. He's on going to be on the blue. Wow, well, that's true. Yeah. It's just a double, isn't it? If you line it up, right? Mm. What the fuck is going on? Close. Had a crack. No. Ooh. Ooh. He's, he's on his toes. He's got he's on his toes a little bit, JT. We've got there from Kenny, he's landed mm. in the middle of everything, so. Yeah, he should be able to. Cue over to his ball. He should be able to come off the top rail here and back out with the white. So I'd say you'll probably play the, the red in the centre of the table to the middle no. after this. I don't think it matters, to be honest. No. I'd play the one in the corner and. Depends how far it comes up. Yeah. yeah. It's actually in the middle of nowhere, so. Yeah, it is. Just roll in. It is a roll in, though, isn't it? Can he hold for this? Yes, he can hold for it easily. It actually hasn't run enough. He hasn't even bothered holding, he's just gone to the opposite corner. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good angle over there. So two rails onto the black. Two rails, you reckon? Um, yeah. Yeah, yep. to the top left. As long as he doesn't hit it too hard, otherwise you'll drag the white over near the corner. It's played a while. Played a while. It's a good. Heel Hill is looking ominous. Ominous. I'm predicting a piss break. Heel Hill piss break. By who? Mutual decision. There you go. Here it is, folks. We have a, a Hill Hill state title. A Hill Hill battle. It's a battle of a Hill Hill. That's a battle of the Mick. It's a Mick battle. Yep. Mick Hill. So no one's game enough to take the toilet break yeah, on, on Kenny, the hill. Kenny's having the conversation again. Yeah. Brett wants nothing to do with it. <laughs> Brett, <laughs> Brett doesn't. He, Brett he, give a fuck. he doesn't want any small talk in between frames. <laughs> anyway, we'll be doing it. We're doing it. We're doing a piss break. The prediction was right. Piss check. I'm going. I'm going with him. <laughs> I'll be back when Kenny's back. Take the mic with you. See how he's feeling. <laughs> no. So we're just having a quick uh, intermission, guys, for a bathroom break. Uh, should be back soon.
thought it was going to have barely too long. And the semi final was just a fall out of rain line. We are on. Here we go. Hill last hill. frame. Last frame. <laughs> good luck to both players. It's a, it's a, it's a mick mick match. And uh, JT's yeah, got a there, big break. Too. Got a yellow. Yeah. Reds of the balls. Matty? Yes. First glimpse, reds of the balls. Yeah, he's got a, a good linking ball on the left hand side, middle, to get down to the top two. Yep. Blacks. We'll take the one the under Blacks the yellow. Blacks only on. Up. Black's only on in the middle, though. So. But he's got a few balls around it. To That's okay. He's got, yeah, he's got balls linked into it, so yeah. it's not too bad, yeah. It's all right. Okay, he's... Isn't it? It's nearly forced to go the long one up the corner here. Yeah. Um, if he, unless if this red, this red is really close yeah. to going inside the. If he can the see, if he can see one to the centre that goes, yeah. I'm taking. So, if we flick over here, we might get a better glimpse. Is it better, any, any better or? Nah. No, go back to the other one. We'll go back. So he's taking the long one. If he knocks this in, maybe I'm going to call it a match. He has oh. that's a really good shot. That's, that's a good great shot. pot. That's, that's, a, a, that's a big shot. A at, pot. at 10 all, a state title, that's a great pot. It is. So as he's looking at his angle there, he's got a good angle there just to stun back to get rid of these two now. I and then it's just a matter of linking these bottom three to land on the black ball. Yeah. So. Um, looks like he's got it down pat. He knows what he's up to, so that's good. Let's go back to that other camera for a sec. Matt, I'm in charge of the cameras, mate. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. That's all right. So does he try to land on the high yellow now? What yellow? He's on the reds. Uh, red, sorry. <laughs> what <laughs> are you doing? <laughs> what match are you watching? Money match in the corner. Mm, yeah. So it's still got a bit of work to do. Fine. No, I think he's playing the right shot here. Yeah. Take it down to the corner, just come out. It's yeah, miss. good, good shot. He's landed actually really well, I think. Where's his angle? Is it his angle like? It's oh, I have to say, he's got to, he's got to move the wire a little. He might be able to take it to the corner now, Matty. Can he? Can you take it to the corner now? Come back up with the other one in the centre. If he can take that to the corner now. Come off two rails and land straight on the one in the centre, and the black will go to the corner as well. Oh, I'd rather do that for the for the one in the middle, and then I wouldn't if I had a chance. What well, you, you know, if you can see it now, it's a trouble ball. You got to take it. And the one closest to the black that's going to link is your other he's one. Played that tentatively, but yeah, he's he's he hasn't played it well, but he's got that's a shot. Okay. He he's got a shot. He can go to the corner. He can. Q into the draw, uh, draw. Can he? Yeah, I think so. Well, you can. Yeah, you actually can. Yeah, looking at the table, you can just no, just roll it, roll it in with top speed yeah. into the draw. Even a bit of top left to narrow out the angle a little bit. Mm. Let's see how this goes. Just played it. Just missed it. No, I don't think he missed that. To be honest, looks like yeah, tailed in a little bit. Mm. So Kenny's all going to get in a snooker straight up. Well, look at this. Don't blame him. Yeah, yeah where the balls are, I would too. A lot of pressure. Why not? He hasn't got a really... What has he got? He hasn't got a great... Oh, well he's got starters, but... He's got the left-hand starter. You know, there's nothing wrong with a the snooker there. Yeah. So Jason's uphill oh, battle starts now. Oh, he's just got to hit this, though. 
Yeah. It's not the right hand rail, but yeah. he's risking potting it. That's the only issue. <laughs> yeah. Down your guard. Don't be so reckless. Yeah, it wouldn't have went that way. Oh. He's hit it and jagged it. He has hit it. Wow, what a result. Wow. No, I spoke to Kenny in the toilets because we went and pissed together. And Kenny, Kenny told me he was nervous and yeah, when he was 10 8 down, he wasn't sure how it was going to go. But he was happy to be in the match. Oh, no. And that is big no, result. He's hit it. So that's the main thing about it. He's just, that is very stiff for Kenny. Mm. So he's just got to get to the right hand side of the table. Yeah, for the black Jason, the left -hand Jason needs to take his time here, Matty. He yeah. needs to just he's got to watch soak it up, soak it up, because this is a big shot. This is you got one shot here to. He's got to watch. He's got to watch in off though. Into the center. Into the yeah. center. Yeah, because he's, yeah. he's got to go over that side. Oh, I'd even play a little bit firmer to come down, take the bucket yeah, to the center. Yeah, if you go a bit firmer, yeah, get yeah. up, get up, it's a good shot. He's not impressed about it. Can't really blame him. This is straight off into the centre, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This could be a woodsy Australian final. Maybe. <laughs> uh, he can get into it enough. I think it's a hard shot, it's though. Hard. Yeah, but it's a tough part. I think he'll make it. He's got it. Yes. He's got it. All over. Well done. Well done, Jason Tanasevic, 2017 well Open Singles Champion. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And um, if you would like to tune in to Jack and Matt's Talkback Radio, just hit us up. It's something we can set up. It costs you probably, uh, what, $5 each to subscribe. We need a minimum of 5000 to subscribe. But um, talk to your friends, see what you can do. Tell them it's entertaining and we'll work it out. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'll leave thanks it with Matty to it off. I thanks to the this. German club for staying open extra late for us. And support us for beers and thanks to after, uh, the match, after the match thanks to George and Long for being here all day and streaming for us uh, great effort guys um, yeah th things worked out well and thanks very much well done Yeah.